The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture I do of me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuck, sticking alongside me as usual. I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the best DEI hire of all time. Please welcome back Mr. JP. I'm sure that woke you up. That's better. Yeah, I know. I feel good now. Yeah, I know. That woke you up, though, right? Sure, man. Oh, that put me back to sleep. <laughs> Did it, really? Yeah. It's like uh, fairy dust. Yeah, it yeah. is what it is. But ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, please welcome back the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> yeah. Thrilled to be here. He yeah. seems pumped. I, know. <laughs> I couldn't be he's more like, ecstatic. I'm, 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 he's here. Why am I here? I don't know. What is so goddamn important that I had to be here for? I, I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe you just really like us. You it's, said there would be a prize. I, I oh, did. there's definitely a prize. Is there? Yeah. Yeah. JP's going to give it to you. Great. <laughs> Uh, but you're like, not gonna like it. <laughs> you're not gonna like it at all. It's more of a surprise. It's yeah. either gonna smell like weed or ass. I'm yeah. not, <laughs> either way, either way, you have to go home and explain that to Aki. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is an a, this is a comedy podcast. We like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast. We like to make very foul... Uh, wait, wait a minute. We like to make uh, inappropriate jokes. I don't you want to know. start over? What the yeah, fuck? I don't, I don't know. You know what? If you don't, if you get offended, I just want to scream a really bad word. I don't know. The microphone. Yeah, right now, I don't know. But uh, you know what? You, you know the drill. It, it is what it is. I'm out. I'll be on my phone whenever you guys. Yeah, yeah. getting around. I can't do yeah. fucking that. show. Uh, but we like to kick this uh, episode kinda... off. We got uh, hot topics, which I think I can maybe sing now. Oh, okay. Well, do it. Hot have to. topics. Oh, that's good. Is that okay? Real good. Okay. Way All to right. go, buddy. We got Best hot one topics. you've done so far. Yep. Uh, and uh, show, anyway. never yeah. have I ever, that's where I draw the line, questions in preguntas, a draft, and it's always a shitty situation. But before we do that, we're going to kick this off with the uh, things that we've had over the last couple of weeks to us. We like to call that our week, week recap. And as always, we're going to kick this off with JP. Because, because he, I did he nothing. He did nothing. Nope. Nothing. <clears throat> Not a thing. I feel like I did. Well, I mean, like, did you did you have, like... I uh, went and played poker with some friends last night. Did you win? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> yeah. You I, know. I won some I, money. I you just, lost some I, friends. I just did. I, I mean, I did. I, I, I did win, won, dude. but, you know, I, I mean, I, that's I bought in for tw- I bought in for 20 bucks, and I left with 34. Oh, that, so, okay, right. that, yeah, yeah. We don't play oh, for a bunch of money. Okay, we just right. play to fucking hang out. Okay, all right, that that's Get good. high and drunk until five in the morning, and yeah, so I'm they a little let, tired today. They let you get high? Yeah. Oh, they do? What do you mean, let me? I mean, I mean, I mean you gotta have, like, certain rules and stuff like that. What rules? Right. Right. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't this be over is there. a stellar episode, fellas. This is going great. I'm just saying, I'm what just trying to make... World. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm glad I drove across town for this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not more exciting. It's not, I, I know. What's it's the not deal? You. It's, I know. It's, it's Scotty, the person dude. that's just asking dumb fucking questions. I know. Uh, isn't well, it weird it is. how when you get to a certain age, however, it's like if your friends are like, hey, do you want to hang out? No, nah, I can't. But, <laughs> but if they're like, hey, you want to play poker? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm there. Yeah. Even though that's You're 100%. Right. I'll hanging be there out. in a minute. Yeah. I'm going to probably lose money hanging out with you. Do you, yep. you want to hang out and lose money? 
That's yeah. what they're asking. Yes, yeah. yes, I do. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Now, now, JP, did you have like any good food that you tried or anything like that? I mean, like that's the thing that I asked. I told you though already. Uh, yeah, ramen like noodles, ramen and noodles, and okay. cheese for me, buddy. Right. From it, now on, it is what it is. Peanut uh, butter and jelly. Yeah. Have you Happy. tried mixing them? Have you tried putting the macaroni and cheese powder? What the fuck? Oh my god! So unprofessional. I was talking, Scotty. Oh my! No, I got, I, I got, I got, uh, I got. Is that your alarm to wake the fuck the up? Alarm, no, the no. alarm said, "Make me hard." No. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Why? Why do you need an alarm for I tell that? You why what? do you need a reminder? Hey, guess what? I'm recording on. I, I'm. I'm actually recording. Hey, uh, I, I got hey, all of. Uh, yeah. Hey. Hi. Hi. Look, Scotty oh, has I, black friends. I do. Oh, I didn't believe I did, it. I, I did. didn't believe it. What? Oh, I knew it. They're not friends. How much did you have to hire them for to call yeah, you? Yeah, that's during fucked the show? up, dude. They're like, oh fuck, it's four thirty-four. We supposed to be I know. at four thirty. I know. This is what happens. They're always late. Hey, I'll call you guys later. I love you. I gotta record the show. Uh, All right. He doesn't love have you. To. Now don't call him back. <sighs> <laughs> Ever. I might not. <laughs> I even hit the fuck you button and then wow yeah three black friends yeah but the damage well, is already it's, done. it's it's my family oh, I was okay. gonna say yeah, something family. something very better. important and I've lost it now <sighs> anyways <laughs> we and you may never get it back uh-uh. no never that's the and I'm okay part. with that hey where were <laughs> we anyways I think we were talking about my interesting week. <laughs> <laughs> the lack thereof and then you were trying to just something, move on something about uh, rules something and about JP's like no yeah no, JP's no. like no. Okay. Oh, I was yeah, going to ask rules. JP if he ever put the macaroni and cheese powder oh. on yeah. no. on the ramen noodles. You should try to mix it up. Was it good? I don't know. I've never mm. been that poor. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I've never been that poor. Oh, that's good shit. And uh, I guess that's all. Uh, I'm just going to go cry in the corner for a while now. I, I don't know. I've never been that poor. I could afford food. For oh, fuck's my sake. God. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? How, what about how, me? How, a couple of weeks. Uh, it's it been has. since you've been here. Uh, how have you been? Not long enough. I'll tell you that. I, I get that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This week. Uh, my dog competed ever in, in his first ever pageant. Oh, oh, great. Wait a minute. You have a dog that's being uh, committed to going to pageants? Well, it's a it's a Halloween costume pageant for dogs. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, they had it at the, the dog park in Derby where I live. They had a big get together, bunch of food trucks and shit up there. And I think it was mostly to raise awareness for like the Derby Humane Society or some shit. But they had a costume contest. Okay. It was rigged. Because my dog was, <laughs> was without a doubt, the cutest thing maybe ever in the history of dogs. Uh, did Jeremy <laughs> turn I'm, gay? I maybe. No, you, you don't. You don't have to be gay to no, appreciate I'm, that. Look! Look at this! Look at this! Oh, he's a fucking bumblebee with oh. antennas on his goddamn head. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, he looks. Tell me that doesn't cute. win. Make sure you send that to me so I can put that up on the show. It's such bullshit. And <laughs> it just so happens that the two people who came in first and second are like big time donors to the fucking Humane Society. Oh, uh, well, that's that's bullshit. Tell me it's not rigged. weird. It's bullshit. Mm hmm. Fuck the Humane Society. From now on, everybody, <laughs> if, you, now. if you donate to those <laughs> cocksuckers, those cheating cocksuckers, fuck them. Right. No, Matter yeah. of fact, I think we should all go adopt a dog and then let them free. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, let them free. Make them catch them again. Yeah. <laughs> Make more work for these bastards. I think we should do that. Sons of bitches. I think we should, too. Yeah, just let them free. Yeah, just dude. let those poor those dogs. Dude, just they just want to be free. Yeah, yeah. they just want to be free. They're descendants of wolves. Wolves don't live in cages. Yeah, yeah. they'll be fine. Roam free. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I think we should do that. Can we do that? They sh yeah, for sure man. as hell ain't taking spots um, on the baseball team. Laughing I on the sidelines. Laughing let on the sidelines. Let them free. Let them free. Yeah, we can Hashtag let them free. Yep. Yeah. Hashtag let them free. I like that. Okay. In fact, we should get start a movement. Let's get all the local comedians together and do like a We <sighs> Are the not. World type, let's not. type song <laughs> to raise money to, to get rid of humane society. <laughs> To do away with them. Uh, if you, I could. We'll do it. Not yeah. to get rid of the need for them. Just, <clears throat> just them themselves. Just them right. themselves. Because my dog got fucked in a costume contest. <laughs> I got fucked in a costume once. I bet. What was it? <laughs> it's been a minute. Phyllis Diller. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
God damn. Well, that's what he was dressed like. Was was it like? I was a butterfly. Phyllis Dillis. Phyllis Diller means, All right, means Scooby Doo. No, that, yeah. no. I want to know about this. This is the most awesome. interesting thing. I don't know how this didn't get brought up on a previous week <laughs> recap. It was a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Well, still, how are we just now hearing about this? That should have been a bit. It should have been. It should have been. Yeah. Anyway, way to go, JP. Yep. Sorry about that. I'm fucking everything else up today. So. I know. Yeah. JP just woke up. Yeah. He he legitimately just woke up. Right now. And he could still out bowl both of us put together. Correct. This is true. <laughs> Boy, there's something to brag about. If they didn't think I was badass before, they do now. I know, right? <laughs> what else, Jeremy? What uh, else do you got see. going on? Here, here's a weird thing that happened. Okay, this happened actually. It's This, this has been going on for a while. I'm going to say like four years ago. The turn signal switch in my car broke. And I have been keeping this thing patched together with like electrical tape and super glue and shit oh, God. for a while now. And it's broke a couple of times and I keep patching it back together. And it finally broke to where I couldn't anymore. And I had been doing this and putting it off because once you get into like steering column shit, a lot of times you got to take the whole fucking dash off oh, yeah. and all this shit. Oh, yeah. Finally, it broke to where I could not put it back together anymore. I get broke, I, broke. I went and bought a new one the part was a little expensive it was a hundred bucks for a fucking turn signal switch yep you should have made uh, one out of wood guess how long it took me to put that thing in four uh, hours three hours about six minutes oh huh? no I, shit. I had been putting this shit off forever and it's maybe the <laughs> easiest thing i've ever done on a car it is three screws on the steering column uh, two screws that hold it in there's no no wires or anything it plugs right directly into the steering column it wow. i don't it really pisses me off that i put it off this long Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, here, I don't know, He's maybe just, a month ago, uh, I fixed, I, I had the uh, serpentine belt break on my car. Uh-huh. And most, usually those break because your water pump freezes up. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, But that's that wasn't right. the case with mine. Mine had a, an idler, idler pulley or a tensioning pulley. Mm-hmm that mm-hmm. just decided it no longer wanted to be a part of my car. <laughs> it's gone. It just gone. Just fucking went somewhere else. I don't know <laughs> where it fell the fuck off. Yeah. And I said to myself, "Oh, it's right there on the front of the motor. I can take care of that no problem." Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a problem. I mean, I damn near had to pull the engine to get <laughs> my fat fucking hands in there to get to this fucking thing. I mean, it's not that bad, but it, but it, well, you a, haven't worked on my car. I would never fucking let you. I I know, but like, if I have a lift, if I have a lift, it's okay. Like, it, it's not that bad. Oh well, who doesn't have a lift? Yeah, of course, we all have hydraulic yeah. lifts. It's garage. what I do for a living, man. I not in your it. garage. Yeah, not it's in your not garage. yours. Oh no, not in my garage. garage. No, right. no, right. no, no. And see, the serpentine belt broke, which means I can't <clears> get it. <throat> To a place with a lift. You could have just called me and Scotty. We could have just came and picked it up. Mm-hmm. I guess I do have a lift. Yeah, we do yeah. have a lift. Yeah, yeah. Me, JP, we could have lifted that yeah, car up. For sure. I, I won't it's use, not that. It's a Volvo. Use lift. It's a God Volvo. It's basically yeah, it's styrofoam. Ba- yeah, it's basically made are you of styrofoam. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the thing about Volvo is they are all about safety, so they are built like tanks. <laughs> <laughs> that car weighs 5,000 pounds. I'm not Uh-oh. shitting. It, well. is, oh my God. it is so reinforced. We might need it's to call ridiculous. Derek, too. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. probably do. We might need a third guy. He'll, he'll complain all the way through. Yeah. <laughs> he won't lift so, a finger to help, either. Yeah, but he'll get sunburned doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I love that guy. Anyways. Anyways, why isn't he here? I, 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 well, he is actually on a trip right now. Yeah. Uh, you mean like an acid trip or? Sure. Maybe. Does that make him better maybe. on the show? That'd make him yeah. at least as good as you. I'm going to guess that's what his wife's on right now because she's on it with him and she needs something in order to, to be make around it. Him. Yeah, to be around yeah. him. That's I know I have to get super high every time we do a show. Exactly. Together. Exactly. Yeah. What's oh. the over under? How much wine you think she consumes on a weekly basis? <laughs> Just Look, to get through. Here's what I, all I'm going to say is this. When One I, and a half bottles. When I watch their dog. Yeah. Like I've seen less wine in a liquor store. Oh, shit. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I, didn't, right. wanna, I didn't want to throw that out there, but you know, she's have, drunk all the time. I, she has to be. I, I'm going to assume Boone's Farm. Yeah. Yep. She seems yep. like. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Strawberry Hill. 
Shit you don't even take out of the, the paper bag. No. Mm. Nope. Nope. There was a stack of paper bags next to the wine. So I don't, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Well, you got to recycle. Right. So over you under. Be a responsible drunk. <laughs> what's the population that would actually marry Derek? Katie. Oh, yeah, I know of one. I, one? Yeah, that's the only one I can think of. <laughs> There's approximately seven and a half billion people on the planet. There's one for sure that we know of that. That did it. That yeah. did that. Would have married Derek. Oh. Now, would she do it again? No. Right. Mm, That's no. the thing. No. I mean, two-time Wichita's funniest person, but still. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wheel of Fortune. That and Wheel of Fortune. Oh, That's, yeah. That's a good point. That's, That's a good point. That so, actually paid way better yeah. than <laughs> Wichita's funniest person. Weirdly <laughs> enough. Yeah. Weird, oddly enough. I still think it's fucking hilarious, too, that on his resume, Derek uses for his comedy resume, that he uses an appearance on NBC. <laughs> yeah, he does. Because of because that wheel of, of fortune. fortune. <laughs> yeah, he sure does. He's been seen on NBC. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, Jeremy, is that all you got? That's pretty much all I did. Yeah, okay. I haven't done a whole lot. Okay. Well, oh, boy, Scotty. Let's hear what you uh-huh. did last week. You know what? No, actually, uh, <clears throat> it's been a lot of fun. I, I, I've been uh, bourbon hunting. Bourbon. It's easy to shoot. Dude. You should. <laughs> It'll you should. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There it You're is. going to waste a lot of money. This could mean a lot of things. I know. Does this mean you drink bourbon and then go hunting? Because that's illegal. I think, he, I think he goes hunting in the store for the bourbon. Yeah. Oh. That's that's what I do. Rifle or bow? Uh, crossbow. Tell me crossbow. No, definitely rifle. Oh. Okay. All day long. Sure. AR-15 and everything. Oh. That, oh uh, that's not a hunting rifle. You don't need yeah. 30 rounds to shoot a bottle of bourbon, Have you Scotty. seen all the bottles of bourbon in the liquor store? He gets them all at yeah. once. He's fucking I'd line them up brrr. and just... Brrr. And, and that's it. Wow. I've uh, seen Scotty shoot. No, he doesn't. No, he, does he misses not. a lot. Hey. He hits a lot of vodka. Uh-huh. He hits a lot of vodka. Yeah, sure <laughs> does. Only with a pistol, you motherfucker. Uh-huh. I can kick ass with an AR-15. Sure you can. Uh, anyways, no, uh, I, I'm actually been, I've actually been bourbon hunting. It's really cool. It's a really, it's a lot of fun. I go to a whole bunch of different liquor stores that I've never been to in my entire life. Uh, looking, that seems easy. Man, you, that seems fun. Do you My have, God, how have I not done this? So you walk in, and you're like, hey, you got any bourbon? And they're, and they're like, like, yeah. Yeah, down there Dude, in the bourbon aisle. You're This is easy hunting. It's, <coughs> it's like fishing at Cabela's in their fucking aquarium. <laughs> yeah. You're going to catch something. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Appreciate My pleasure. It. Uh, no, uh, it, that's not what it is. I'm looking for something specific. I'm looking for, for something. Bourbon, that I, you I really, told us. Yeah, it, it is a bourbon. Uh, but... It really sucks. I can't fucking find it. Is there, I can't what, find what's it the brand? Anywhere. It's 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 Eagle Rare. You I can't, can't, I can't tell me find that Eagle one Rare. of these liquor stores can't order it for you. Oh no, they definitely can. Well, then what are you fucking bitching about? Nothing. Have because, them order some, you rich fuck. Because Have you tried that's what, Amazon. What rich com. The rich fuck is the one that ordered it, and it's gonna be here uh, tomorrow. See there, I knew it. If I want rich something, people, then if you I want get something, it. Then I get it. I yeah. That's God, right. I wish I could say that. Yeah. I, oh, I wish I could. I say wanted it. something. I needed something. I got it. I got it coming. It'll be here tomorrow. My Actually, God. can you come and sign for it? Because I'm not going to be here. What time? Uh, two to four is what. Two to four. Two to four. Yeah. So okay. Okay. So you've been going to all these liquor stores asking about it, huh? And they're telling you no. So it's basically like being in 2008 trying to buy a Nintendo Wii. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know yeah. those people loved doing that. This sounds <laughs> like a lot of fun. Yeah. So, okay. It, it, it's called what now? It's called Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare. It's, well, that's why it's it, it, rare. It's, it's, yeah. e, well, here's the thing. It's not even that rare. It's just, it's just like it's it's a 10-year ten, ten uh, uh, bourbon that's made by Buffalo Trace, and I can't find it anywhere, but it tastes like fucking candy. You've had it before? Yes. Where'd you get it then? And maybe uh, you should go back to at that a place. Podunk fucking <laughs> liquor store in Moore, <clears throat> Oklahoma. Yeah, go down there. It's not it's even not that, that far. far. It's huh. not, but like it was. I mean, even if you're hunting, bottle. go down there. You salute Toby I, Keith. Oh God damn it! And, and it was it was it was just a spur of the you moment can thing. Listen to Red Solo Cup all the way there. I, I sure, I sure can. can. Yeah, mm-hmm. I sure can. But um, yeah, that it, it really irritates the shit out of me. That I can't just go to a liquor store to get what I really want, but at the same time, maybe eh. you should move to a city like Wichita. No, oh, a real city. I, I think we have a good city here. I think 
we can't even get Eagle Trace we, rare. No shit. We have That's a large true. town. That's true. Yeah, we, we do. We have a large town. That's yeah. Good we have a big town. Uh, but I have been trying a whole bunch of other stuff. I had uh, Bullet uh, Bullet Ten, uh, which I which I thought it was pretty good. Is that a position? Yep. <laughs> you just said you've been trying a lot of other stuff. Yep. Yep. I was hoping he was yep. going Bullet that 10. way too. Is, is yeah. this Bullet Ten? I think this is still whiskey. How how many strap ons does this require your wife to uh, put on? That's ten. 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 Okay. Ten. That's, that's one of them has a bullet in it. One yeah. of them is loaded. <laughs> <laughs> one of them is loaded. Yeah, it's a it's a revolver. That's kind of the way it works. You just spin it like the big wheel on the price is right. Sure. Like, but boop, <laughs> boop, 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 Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Not oh, re- he hit the loaded one, folks. Not related to that. I did. Uh, I did decide that I am going to do something that I haven't done in several years. I'm going to vote. Okay. All right. So I made sure Thank I was God, registered to vote. If you didn't vote, Trump would never get elected uh-huh. in Kansas. Yeah. No. It really what counts. a waste of fucking time. It counts for a lot in this state. Oh boy, you're going to vote. Good for you, man. Way I to wonder do what's going to happen. Your most <laughs> basic of civic duties. Kamala was going to win. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for doing your part, man. Mm-hmm. No, I'm I'm kind of one of those people. I'm I'm a I'm a libertarian. I don't I don't like this whole bullshit. But uh, for the very first time in probably 15 years, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Uh huh. Great. So, I feel better. Do you? Oh, yeah. You should. You know I what? feel like we're in I, good let me, hands. Let me tell you something. I I think you should be in good hands because my vote is going to counteract my vote. Not do a fucking thing. It's going to counteract my vote. I'm voting for vote. JP, actually. Actually, you know what? That's you know, who I'm, I'm actually going to write in. Candidate. I'll <laughs> probably still get more votes than Kamala. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe on this side of the universe. You're right. Here in Kansas. It, it is about. what it is. But, you know, she uh, came... Yeah. From a middle class family. She did guys. come from a middle class family. Have you seen the house? That's why I don't trust her with my money. Have you seen the house that she lived in? No. That is not a middle class family house. They they definitely were not mixing macaroni they, and ramen. Yeah, they were <laughs> not. not. They chance. were not. <laughs> they were fucking loaded. But anyway. Uh, middle class, though, encompasses a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, I, wealth, being... Rich is such a subjective term. I know so many people who would see my bank account and think I'm absolutely fucking loaded, and I know so many people who would see it and think I'm dead fucking broke. Yeah. Well, then they oh, yeah. really it, hate to see mine. <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck. No shit. Wow. But you kind of tell people. They don't well, have to see it. Look at me. Mine's too big of a number to great. mention. <laughs> so. No, listen. That's much. I look like some old listen, fucking homeless man. Listen, I mean, man. I'm not bragging. I make I make well into the five figures every year. <laughs> hey, so do I. So do I. <sighs> oh, do you? Yeah. Just yesterday, I made two o o dot o o in one day. Oh my god! I know. Did you buy another bowling ball? With it? I don't have it yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But there is one I've been looking at. <laughs> I'm sure it is. It comes yeah. with a free bottle of Eagle Rare. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, right. It sure does. I had to hunt for it, but <laughs> it's actually it's it's plastic. It's encased, encased inside. Encased in the bowling ball. <laughs> the bowling Correct. ball. And it will break open and you can drink it nice. if you bowl a three hundred game. Awesome. Nice. Perfect. Uh well, ladies and gentlemen, now we're gonna move on to something called hot topics. That that sounds that okay. was a little rough. It was a little rough. Hot topics. That's better. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, we got hot topics this week. Edit that first one out, and then edit it back in. Okay. That's <laughs> after right. the first. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. Switch. Lord up. have mercy. Switch but anyways, if you haven't already, do us a favor and subscribe. And as always, if you can, leave us a like. That really does help us out. No bullshit. It's. I know it sucks, but. Uh, it, but it doesn't. It's it, so easy to do, you stupid fucks. Yeah, thank you very much, JP. Yeah, leave us a like. And, yeah, and if you like... Why you gotta be so fucking lazy? Yeah, yeah I know. It's Even two fucking like clicks. Us. Yeah, that's it. You yeah. fucks. Thanks, appreciate it. You're All welcome. Right. All right, never mind. They did it for me. Fuck. I was I was gonna go off on a tangent. We, we were good. No, no, I, we've I, been I, nice every fucking episode, and they're still not doing it. I, I know. I, you remember how I chewed their ass about the Manscaped thing, and then yeah. subscriptions went way off the fucking roof after that? I think this is what they need. They need to. Uh, they need talking to. You know what's crazy? Like we're starting to blow up off of uh, Instagram. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot too. You're talking the gram, the gram. Love that's, the gram. That's what the kids are calling it these mm-hmm. days. In yeah. fact, uh, there were actually a couple of questions off of the gram. Off the gram. Off of okay. the gram. Yeah. 
the first one comes in from Nate uh, Motionless KSO. He wanted to know, Scotty, I know you get a lot of hate. No shit. Well deserved. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, he says, I know you get a lot of hate. Uh, let's see. Where we go? Uh, buh, 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 buh. Oh, uh, but we do thank you for giving us a great show. Would you rather play your dream golf course or board your dream mountain? That's a good question. Um, like, are we talking all day? Like, can we do an all day thing, JP? You know, the first part of that yeah. question was completely yeah. unnecessary. I you agree. just put that in there to yeah, flog your own fucking right. knob. I, I don't even think this is a real person. I think this is no, Scotty's really question he no, wrote to himself. It really is. Actually, and I have another question for Jeremy, and I forgot about it, and so I was trying to move back. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I, I would definitely uh, board my favorite mountain. Uh, for an all for for an all day thing, that's what I would do. Okay. I, I I appreciate the golf course and everything like that, but like right now, I would I would love to just live on a fucking. I just now figured Swiss out you're Alps talking about bullshit. snowboarding. I don't speak the lingo. Oh yeah, yeah the 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 all board. I, I thought at first I thought it said breeding. Oh breeding. Do you like? Do you ever bred a mountain? Breed your favorite mountain. I did I, once. I, no. And now you they're did? called they're called a, the Rocky Mountains. Yeah, now. it was a complete accident. It was just was Pikes Peak big. by itself. I fell and then into JP there. Oh was, I tripped. Oh God! It was Derek. Oh, it was Derek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gonna hate that. And then lastly, uh, this comes from Matthew Rothermitch. Jeremy, he wants what? to know. What? Uh, I'm sorry. Leave me alone. Please. He just wants to be left alone. Fucking Rothermick. Uh, Always. He, he wants to know, Jeremy, <laughs> if your wife could be a, a, what is it, obsessive over a holiday other than Christmas, which would you prefer? Oh, which would I prefer? Arbor yeah. Day? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Since we already got the trees. You're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's and, good. You don't and have they're to spend probably, any money. And they're probably still up on mm -hmm. Arbor Day. I don't even know when Arbor Day is, but chances are. I mean, there is there is now a 60-40 chance that there's going to be a tree of some sort up in my fucking house. <laughs> so yeah. God damn it. Yeah. Let's go Arbor day. Okay. Arbor day is what we're going to go with. And then the last, but if you want to know which one she actually is obsessed with, it would be this upcoming one, Halloween. Oh yeah. Um, the nice thing is this year, she's actually made this declaration with now that we have the dog in the house, mm -hmm. she's going to cut back way, way much. Uh, simply for the fact that, our dog, while sweet and obedient, is very enthusiastic about life. Uh huh. And he's now 100 plus pounds and is a bull in a china shop. Yeah. And his tail is a force of yeah. nature. I mean, it's. Destroy that tree, dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's there, the tree's probably going to go up, but oh, and then also, you know, it takes her a lot because she keeps everything in like the original boxes. And shit, and she has to sit on the floor and get them all out. And the dog loves to help oh, out. Oh yeah, right. He's awesome. got to be yeah. right in her face. That's awesome. yeah. She can't even fold laundry if I'm not home. I do have one because last... I won't let her. Yeah. Fucking bitch, you do what you're told <laughs> you... when you're told. I want to watch that shit. I do have one jerk it. One last question that came in from from Instagram. Uh, and the it's, gram? Yeah. Okay. The gram. It's from Daniel Delaney. Oh. Down under. Yeah. My friend. Uh, he wants to know who is the most favorite or who's the most famous person you've ever met and were they an asshole when you met them? It's tough for me. The most famous. The most famous. And and God, explain what you mean by meet. Like if you just pass them by and uh, say, yeah, hey, yeah, you you kind of you kind of had do the you have opportunity to stop and and take the time to talk to them. Well, here's my answer. Uh -huh. The most famous person I've ever met is Jeremy Joseph. and Without a doubt, yeah. He um, was the biggest asshole I've ever met in my entire fucking life. See, that's Give crazy. Give me one example. He was extremely rude hmm. and told me to go fuck myself, and I then did. So that's uh, that's hmm. my yeah, deal. Uh, how about you, JP? But were you deserving of it? Oh, 100%. Yeah, so yeah. it's really oh, not yeah. rude. Yeah, yeah 100%. I, I totally deserved it. Absolutely. Uh, how about you, uh, Jeremy? Did you have anybody that you have met that's extremely famous, and how did it work? Out. I mean, I've I've met, and fame is another one of those famous to one person. Maybe nobody else has ever fucking heard them. They're sure. very famous, maybe in the circles that I travel in. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna say probably the most. I'll, I'll just give you the most uh, 
disappointing celebrity encounter I ever met was way back in the old days of the Looney Bin, uh, Polly Shore. Oh, yeah. When he came to town. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, that dude, he, he yeah. signed autographs and shit after the show. There was like a reception line going through there. And he couldn't have been more disinterested in not just me, everybody. I, I think it was, it was more of a, I used to do theaters. Look at where I'm at now. Yeah. No. People get jaded over that shit. Yeah. How about you, JP? Hmm. That's tough. I mean, I, I mean, like I can uh, give my real one. So Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn? Yep. Oh, dude, you took a picture with him. Well, yeah. 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 Was he cool? Every, I mean, he's everything you think that he would be. Like what yeah. you see, it, it's that's who he is, man. Oh, that. Well, he's a hundred percent genuine. That's great. And uh, then William H Macy. Oh, I don't know who that is. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Do I? Oh you, my god, he's he's in a million different things. Yeah, you you, know you'd know, is. you'd go, oh, that guy, if you saw him. I promise. Okay, give me an example. Fargo. Yeah, he's in the movie Fargo. He is uh, that show Shameless. Shameless. Oh, uh, oh, Frank, oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, not the main character. Yeah, Frank. Oh, okay, all right. So the main character of Fargo. He was on no. It. Oh. Well, Jesus. kind of. <laughs> I mean, there there is no real main character to that. It's kind of an ensemble. Uh, Dude, are you? <laughs> no, if I, if I leave, will you I'm just, yeah, kidding. Kidding. yeah. Yeah, just I, kidding. you know what? I'll leave even if you don't. I'm okay. just, I'm just joking. All Jesus right, no, I know, I know who you're talking about. Uh, that's good. That that's that's a good one. I, I like it. No, the you most. Know I just woke up. I know. I'm just trying to fuck with you, though. Can it's I? Working. Is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but no, I, I guess okay. Here's somebody who I he made me pay him ten dollars for a picture to take a picture with him. I will never do that. Oh, ever. I paid. Oh, I'm sure you did. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Why not? I, I totally would never do it. that. Like, mm. like you know what? I tell you what. If all of us got famous, we would never do that. Jeremy, actually, I take that back. Jeremy would definitely do that. Yeah, I need the cash. Yeah, absolutely. I don't, uh, JP, I'd, actually, I actually, would, JP would probably do I, I would that. I'd that do that money. now. <laughs> <laughs> I would take that money so and I can't burn eat. it right in front of them. Yeah, After right, they handed it right, to me, right, I would smart. just start it on fire. Yep. Absolutely. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. But anyways, now I get to move on to hot topics. Oh, can we, thank can God. We, can we move on? Please, let's do. To hot topics. Anyways, uh, well, the Yankees are uh, going to the World Series. Shocker. I told yeah. you Cleveland had no chance. And you're like, oh, no, they're good. And I was like, no. I hate it. No. And they are I hate good. It. And, yeah, and but it they're not came good down enough. to just a few plays, really. Yeah, yeah. really. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It really sucked. Um, do we have any bets that it's going to be the uh, the Yankees and the Dodgers? Anybody? Because that's that's what, what I think it's going to be. What is the other series? It's three, to, three to two. Dodgers. Dodgers, Dodgers over the Mets. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Because yeah. it's two games in I LA, fucking hate right? It. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I fucking but, hate it. But, I mean, it's. What what the fuck else do you expect? They both bought their fucking team. I know. And that's what pisses me off. Is I mean, I, I don't know. That's how sports has gone since yeah. the dawn uh -huh. of time, yeah, sir. It's true. It's true. The it's more true. money you have, the better players you get. Yeah. The more championships you win, mm -hmm. but the it's more when, money you get. When yeah. the small market teams actually do come through and win one, it makes it all the more meaningful. It does. Yeah, and I'm uh, I, I'm not gonna watch I, I'm not gonna watch the World Series. Anybody else oh. here gonna watch it? I'm gonna. I bet they're very disappointed yeah. there at the World Series. Yeah. Piss piss them off. Please don't watch it. Uh, I mean, they watch probably it won't even go to, through with it now. I know. Probably not. As long yeah. as everybody goes home happy, as long as everybody had fun, you know. Yeah, I guess that's what it's about. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I, I'm just I. Thrilled beyond all belief at how well my Royals did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did. I, I, it was so unexpected. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like you guys made it into the playoffs. You guys made a run. I, I think that's and something they to were be proud of it. Really, just a couple of of bad innings from yeah beating the Yankees. Yeah, and I that I, that I game won the fucking umpires took it from them. No, they lost. Umpire. They lost by a run. There was a clear out that Salvi threw a guy out at second. Shocked that that guy went out. He went on to score. They they ruled him safe, looked at it. It got challenged. He was clearly out, and they, they upheld well. the call. <clears throat> he went on to score the winning run. It it, was, yeah, I know. And That sucks. 
They had to go against them because they can only the, go for uh, one Kansas they, City yeah, team at a time. They have they have to right go for one with the one Kansas City team, uh, Kansas City team at a time. They they can't mm-hmm. they can't do both. So I don't know, guys. The Chiefs are just that good. Oh really? Yeah, they are. Oh, oh, oh. I fucking hate them. Uh, but anyways, we're recording this episode on a Sunday, and we're actually watching the games. Uh, we actually have uh, this is a this one's a fucking nail biter. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. Thank God we picked this one to watch. Thank God yeah. I didn't start Washington's defense. Yeah, because um, <laughs> yeah. it, it would have been great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're fucking blowing up. Let's see. As of right now, Washington's defense has 22 points. They're on pace to score 34, oh, which is God. unreal for a fucking defense. Oh, God. Uh, so, But I did want to bring this up. Okay, so we have a, uh, a comedian that's in our fantasy football league. He's a friend of the show. He's he's, been on yeah, time. he's been on the show friend once. Friend of the show. Yeah, friend of the show. Been on the show once before. And um, not going to say his name. Yeah, probably should. Why not? Because I'm going to talk shit on him right now. Like, he's not going to know who the fuck you're talking about. Like, yeah. he listens to this show. Right. Uh, Two he, very good points. He has never been in a situation to where he is winning on No, he's always football. in last place. He's always in last place. Never is in a situation to where he's going to win any kind of money. So, for the last three consecutive weeks, I've received text messages from this dude going like, hey, uh, so is it really $100 for getting the most points in a week? I'm like, yeah. And then it's like, hey, so what's the breakdown from first place to second place? And I'm like sitting here going, oh, dude, you are jinxing yourself. Stop it. Stop. Like, I, you're going to win something maybe. But right now you are on eggshells because well, you are doing the thing you're not yeah. supposed to do. It's unfathomable to think that he's not going to win because he's not just winning. He's fucking obliterating. He is. Everybody he's playing. Yeah. However, luckily this week he's sucking and he's who I'm playing this week. That's good. Um, I'm rooting for he's you. Still What's on his pace name? To beat me. Uh, his his name's rhymes. His name rhymes with, with uh, Derek? Chrysler. Derek. De- rhymes with Derek uh, Slon Fleisler. Oh, he's in your fantasy football league. Yeah, nice. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> but but every single week I get a text message of like, oh, hey, uh, do I get this amount of money? And I'm just like, no, dude, what the fuck? I'm just like, let yeah, this you, play out. You gotta wait till the end of the season at least. Yeah, before like, we know like, for sure like, if you got the highest point yeah, total. Exactly. And and granted, he's got a high point total. Like no bullshit. Like in our league, if you win a, if you if you score 120 points, you're winning that game. 100% of the time. Unless you play him. Unless you play him. Because wow. he's scoring like 140 points. Ooh, it's not even. It's crazy. Uh, but you just get lucky I, I, this year? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm well, looking at his team and I'm just like, come through. what the fuck? Yeah. They, nobody yeah. shits the bed. Yeah. Nobody. And, and I'm just kind of like, okay, all right. Uh, this is going to happen to you later in the week because it's, it, or later in the year, it's not, it's not going to happen. You're not going to win near as much as you think you are. But that's beside the point. Uh, but then, uh, then I'm going to move on to uh, Chris Christie, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, talk talking some, about the former uh, New Jersey governor. Yeah, Chris that, Christie. yeah, that guy. Lover uh-huh. of all snack cakes. Oh God, lover of all kinds of cakes. Fitness mm-hmm. guru. Yeah, Chris yeah, big <laughs> time guy. Guy For loves sure. to run marathons. Uh, Paul Heyman lookalike. Yeah, <laughs> Chris Christie. <laughs> he he decided. Uh, to talk shit on said Dan Campbell, the uh, head coach of the uh, Detroit Lions, and said that, um, well, as far as his his performance against the Dallas Cowboys uh, and how he ran up the fucking score, uh, uh, he said, uh, Dan Campbell, he's got no class, never has. That's the way he is, and what goes around comes around. Um, he's if- not wrong about that because... For many, many years, the Cowboys has been the franchise of douchebags. Yeah, correct, Amundo. Uh-huh. And if what goes around comes around, then all of the food that he's ate is going to give his ass a fucking heart attack. So I don't think uh, he's got anything to stand on, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, this is, okay, this is very reminiscent of in 2003. Yeah. Kansas State beats Nebraska. It was like 34. 
five. The, the final score wound up being like 35 to 17 or something. But K State was well in the lead. They had the ball with the clock running out and they throw a touchdown pass to make it 35 to whatever the fuck it was. Uh-huh. And at the end of the game, uh, I believe it was Bo Pelini, who was the assistant coach at that time for Nebraska, mm-hmm. came up when the, co- the head coaches were shaking hands and just starts laying into Coach Bill Snyder from K State for running up the score. Now, for those who don't know the history of Kansas State, uh, up until, I want to say, early 2000s, they were both, as far as total losses and win percentage, they were the losingest team in the history of college football. Meanwhile, Nebraska has many, many national championships. They are one of the most historically dominant franchise or college football teams in college football history. And now you have their assistant coach jumping K-State's coach about running up the score when for years they would beat them <laughs> 60 to nothing. I mean, K-State had a team that would get beaten by a lot of good high school teams. Oh, yeah. yeah for sure. a lot of years. They were just so bad. Mm-hmm. And so for somebody to accuse the Detroit Lions head coach of running up the score on the Dallas fucking Cowboys. <laughs> America's team. <laughs> A team with five fucking Super Bowl championships. <laughs> Get fucked. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, no shit. And not just because I hate the Cowboys. Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> The, the yeah, Detroit no, Lions have been the whipping boys of everybody in the NFL forever. Even when they made the postseason, yeah. they were awful. Yeah, and they and up until last year they had won like one playoff game since '91 or some shit. And they won today. They, yeah, they beat the Vikings Man. on Came the back. road. It was a good game. Uh, I was very excited about that. Uh, but as God you can imagine, bid that. The city of Detroit has something to feel good about. No shit, because the city of Detroit is a oh, not cool. a fun place to live. Yeah, uh, it's getting better though. It's getting better. I don't know. <laughs> not no. so much. Okay. No, it is so much. with that beat down of the Cowboys. I'm okay, sure okay, that that's fair. I want to go visit there now. Uh, but yeah, uh, go during the day. Speaking of, col- yeah. speaking of college, oh, yeah. don't go at night. Speaking of college, It'll be very reminiscent of that phone call Scotty got. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, speaking of college football, we had uh, K State ended up beating uh, West Virginia. And I'm pretty sure that's what they're calling for. That's, yeah, that's pretty much what we kind of expected. Uh, any any uh, uh, upset? It's not what they expected. They were two and a half point favorites oh. going in. Oh. So to beat the dog shit out of them was oh, okay, good. pretty unexpected. Yeah. All right. Uh, do we have any uh, upsets? Oh yeah. Right. Out. Excuse me, I apologize. Alabama lost again. Alabama yeah. lost again. Georgia beat Texas pretty handily. They did. I don't know what uh, what do you uh, like say about that. I, I was thinking like Texas was going to be like the number one team and nobody was going to even fucking challenge them. Why did you think that? Because they were obliterating they, they were good. They were so good. And, and they are still good. I think they yeah. just had a bad game. I did too. And Georgia, everybody's basing Georgia's talent level on – their loss to Alabama when they're a lot better than that. Yeah, yeah. I they agree. damn near came back and won that game. Yeah. Uh, and last but certainly not least, uh, we're going to get into something not related to sports. Uh, Crossfade, the band, is has announced that they're going to come back and uh, do some music. Don't know who that is. Crossfade, really? Really? Nope. Why, why would anybody <clears throat> know who that is? Oh, man. Crossfade Are, are they the ones shit. who distill that fucking bourbon? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. And then on top of that, Breaking Benjamin releases a new single, which I hope you guys have listened to because it sounds exactly like the shit that they've always played. Never heard of them. Okay. I don't think you understand uh, what really? the word "hot topics." Breaking Benjamin. Breaking. What? You don't know who Breaking Benjamin is. I've heard. No, of I've them. heard of Breaking Bad. I've heard of that. It's like them are only you with serious? Benjamin. Are, are you fucking with me? Are you, yes, you're fucking with me. Good God. Yeah. Okay, he knows who Breaking Benjamin is. I do. Dear God. I don't know who Crossfade is, though. For uh, that, okay, that's fine. I, I get you I, I get you there. That's a little bit more obtuse. But uh, but then Three Days Grace uh, also announces. Obscure. It's not obtuse. Okay. Dumb fuck. Whatever. Obscure. Uh, but Three Days Grace announces that they're going to bring back their original singer. So here's my point. Here's my, here's my h- hypothesis. This is going to be an actual tour. All three of these fucks are going to go on the same tour throughout the United States. You're going to go probably. 
I'm gonna fucking go. Yeah, dude, I am gonna pound sand, and I don't give a shit. I'm. A, I cannot wait for this shit to happen. I'm very excited, and uh, I hope all of you guys are too. Wow, we could have saved like four minutes yeah. with fact, that one. I actually it have was a, a minute. I actually have a topic you didn't put on here that's worth discussing. What do you got? Angel Reese. Oh, okay. Uh, now that the season is over, yeah. has complained. Apparently, she's she's not being paid, paid very much. About seventy five thousand a year, which. It depends for what Double professional what I make. Per, professional athletes for what they get paid. No, it's not much, but you're also no, she has to just play basketball? playing a child's game. Yeah. yeah. Um, but complained that uh, her rent is $8,000 a month. And so that's $96,000 a year. And so her salary doesn't even cover that. Uh, there's a lot of people who live very well on $75,000 a year. 100%. Maybe don't rent a fucking place that is more than your salary. Yes, yeah, because the idea you haven't even taken out taxes yet, you dumb bitch. Forty <laughs> percent of that you ain't getting. So what? I don't know what that is of seventy five thousand, but it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, but Jeremy, she should be paid more, right? But how in the fuck did somebody sign that lease? I mean, how did they get approved? I, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a WNBA. Star, that's star. That's, not, not at that time. She wasn't. I mean, well, I mean, like now, even like how I, she should be living in a lap of luxury. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sure. I should. Be I, I've seen in her lap shooting luxury, percentage. But. It's about as good as mine. It's terrible. It's absolutely awful. But she leads the league in rebounds because <laughs> she gets her own, own fucking, fucking rebounds. <laughs> She just hucks it up there every time. As hard oh, as yeah. She, she just banks it off the backboard. She and like wants the gets rebounds. It. Like, yeah. Like, ah, uh, yeah. 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 It's, it's like I, she's just running a tip drill. Yeah, right. exactly. I see your triple double and I call bullshit. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, that's a good point. Uh, but anyways, that is. Oh, sorry. Hot topics. Yeah. Love it. Uh, but now we get to move on to the fun parts of every single episode. This is Never Have I God, Ever. are we just starting this? Shut the fuck up, JP. Oh, oh we're going to get through it. Break. We're going to get through it. We're going to make it. I promise. Okay. Never Have I Ever. Uh, thank you guys so much for participating in Monday, Friday. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we had a lot, a lot of good ones. I know why you left the show now. It does uh -huh. feel like Yeah, a thanks, short. man. You know what I mean? Yeah, appreciate oh, it. Sorry, I wasn't talking to you. I haven't been shy about my reasons for leaving. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Nate Motionless, for, for giving me a lot of credit and saying that you appreciate that I keep on putting this fucking show on. That one guy. Ugh, yeah, because one fucking guy. This is what I have to deal with on a regular I basis. Can, I wouldn't do it, man. Anyways, it's not worth it. I know it's not. Uh, but anyways, uh, John Austin Childress says, uh, never have I ever worn assless chaps. Jeremy? Can we block him? Nope. Can we block him? He he knows he I, knows he knows, and he was there. I'm not going to give him satisfaction. Fuck him. Why not? I've gone on this rant before. Okay, you motherfuckers. Okay, why do I got to do the same fucking bits over and over again? One more time. Why do people want to? They want to hear me about sex. Yeah, all the time. Yep. It's it, there's no point to it. Okay, that's fine. I'll I'll keep it. Well, calm Scotty's down. the one that keeps picking the question here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if we're blaming somebody, let's not blame this guy. Let's yeah, blame fucking Scotty. We'll blame so me. Nate, your assessment about how hard he works is fucking wrong. But okay, I'll give you another fucking sound bite, and I'm gonna keep it calm because this legitimately does piss me off. All chaps are asses. <laughs> if your chaps have an ass in them, those are pants. <laughs> love it i'm sorry uh but anyways so no i have not <laughs> you have not worn wear, assless chaps. you've never uh, nobody has i've worn chaps haven't you nobody has ever i was worn there chaps that weren't assless i know but have you ever worn chaps for sure oh okay i was gonna say i was there but yeah. I, I wear pants yeah, you were. <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ all right and i didn't I recognize you without the horns yeah i know thanks man and i only do it when i carry six guns <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Fair enough. You got to have a lot of guns. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, next one comes in from Brian French. He wants to know: Never have I ever slept in your parents' bed as a or what is it? Never have I ever slept in your parents' bed as a kid when they were away for the weekend or on vacation. Okay, this is actually a good question. I I, I think what you I think that's a good question. Yeah, I do. And 
That makes me want to walk upstairs and quit this, <laughs> does. this show. No, like, have you ever slept in in your parents' bed? There's when nothing controversial. What about is this? even? What is even the point what, what, of this? So what if I did? So okay, of course you did. Yes, they had a much nicer bed. I had of a fucking. Of course they did. A twin. I had a twin fucking bed. I never did. I never did. Listen, my weird parents to only me. made the mistake of going on a trip without me once, right? And left me at home. They came no, back this to is a weird trash to fucking house. With tomatoes in the washing machine. And no, shit. this this is actually weird to me. This is a weird fucking question to no, pick. No, like I, I think this is actually weird to me. I, I I know I've never slept in my parents' bed whenever they were on vacation. I've slept in my best friend's parents' bed. Why didn't your parents take you on vacation? Uh, with well, with him. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. And his sister once. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, really? Crazy. Oh my god. All right. I, yes. dude. Let me break something down to you. I am never going to have the sexual history that I, that you have. Oh god. Never. You should thank. Count your blessings. You can I work am, on it. I am. I'm counting my blessings. You're too. It's too late for you now. Yeah. Even if you start I'm, now, you'll never make it. Yeah. I'm 37. Right. I'm 37. You and got you a good what? 10 oh. years left in you. You know what? There's not a. There's no shortage of dudes that would fuck you, Scotty. All right. That's fine. Uh. L- can I tell you like a really serious? Has no discerning. Can I taste. can I tell you a pet yeah, peeve? Man, go pet, ahead. A pet peeve that I have. Sure, I'd love to hear it. Is it when people spit on you? I no, hate that. No, no I, I fucking hate that. I prefer it. I yeah. have a I have yeah. a serious pet peeve whenever Saves I ask whenever I ask somebody how old they are and they go I'm going to turn 37 uh, in a couple of weeks and I go Oh, so you're, so you're 36. 36. It, like every time. Or just say 37 if you're that fucking much of a douche. It yeah. pisses me off yeah. so much. And like I'm 36 and a half. Anything to do with oh, sleeping so in your parents' bed? Same, same shit. But anyways, yeah. Back to this question. No, okay. I don't understand it. I don't understand. Like, no, I want to sleep in my bed. I want to sleep in my place that I normally sleep. I'm not going to sleep in it, even if it's nicer. I'm not going to do that. Hmm. Anybody okay. else feel that way? Or am I the only one? You're the only one. Yeah, you're the only one. Okay, I guess I'm on the only one. All right. That's well, weird. That my is my parents didn't go on trips with them. Yeah, them. right. That's another they weird knew part better. of the question. But you would sleep in their bed? You could, the, the one time. But yes, my you, parents had a fucking king-size water bed. You do. Oh. I, had a, I had a twin. Did you roll around on, in your dad's cum? No. I don't. Not that I know of. Okay. All right. That's all I'm saying. Uh, that's a whole different thing. Oh, gotcha. That right. seems like a different I thing. I mean, it could be a different thing. That seems like something you do on vacation. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure what they were doing. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Next one comes in from. Oh, God. I, I hope they get better than that last one. Uh, it, it will be. Okay. Uh, next one comes in from Ben Ben Miles. He wants to know, never have I ever shit myself while taking a piss. JP? Nope. You never have? How does that even work? Can you do both at the same time? Okay, so no, I've gotten dangerously close. Really? Yeah. No, I've never done yeah, this. Yeah, like I, I shit literally last week. I told you I shit in my hand. Yeah, I know. When I was in the shower because I couldn't make it out of the shower to the toilet. Yeah. But I've never shit my pants when I've been taking a. Piss. You've never been at a urinal and like taking a no. piss and be like that oh, happens dude. to you. I mean, no, but okay. Well, then what are you so indignant about? What is going just, on with these? Questions? Now you're being obtuse. I knew I should have just turned my alarm off and went back to bed. No Shut shit. the fuck up! You guys suck. No, Jer- Jeremy. How about you? Uh, no, I have not. However. I have had to shit and piss at the same time before and like pulled my pants down, went to sit down and lost control of my piss oh. and like shot a stream like a, out <laughs> while, while shitting. Like, you know, those, okay. you know, those okay. shits that like you're clenching and that's the only thing holding it in. And it's, you better make sure you're lined up with the seat as you sit because it's yeah, coming it's down coming. and you also have a full bladder and you don't oh, have time wow. to tuck it down. Oh, I, oh yeah. I've, I've done that. Oh boy. All right. The old fire hose, we call uh-huh. it. That's right. Uh, next one comes in from Matthew Rothermich. He wants to know, never have I ever pretended not to be home so I don't have to answer the door. Okay, man. 100%. What is going on with this show? What? These are the questions the that you picked? Hey, they weren't there. Is this all? This is really bad, dude. Check. Go, get back on the gram. And I love you. I know. But these questions are... Hey, we'll get, we'll, we're going to get in some good ones. These There's are only one bad. There. Okay, well then where are you? 
I will start picking the questions. Thank this you. This is what we're going to do. Thank what you. What kind of question is this? Thank you. Would you try to help out? Have, I, have you ever pretended not to be home so you don't have to answer the door? If you answer this question, no, you're a fucking liar. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Of I agree. Course. Of course. Well, Scotty then why tried are we doing this to me when questions? I got here. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah J- I yeah. wish he would have done it when I got Jesus here. Jesus Christ. No, he, he really, he didn't answer the first time I yeah, rang the you bell. Should have fucking no, he just, didn't. You should have fucking walked back to your car, turned on your new yeah. blinker, and gone. I gave you a chance, motherfucker. Yeah. I showed up. I did my part. Touche. Okay, well, man, this show, hey. I'll tell you what, if this doesn't get us more subscribers, I don't know what will. Hey, well, well then answer it honestly. Honestly, I, that is my honest. Of course he's done it. I yeah, did, of saying. course. You've done it? Of course. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Do you know the time you did it? I'm I've just done, I'm just it. I've yeah, done it. I'm just I've had grinder hooks up, hookups that show up, get out of the car, and I peek through the window and decide I'm not going to answer the door. <laughs> like, I, this is not a thing. This is a, This happens all the time. Jeremy? What? Yeah, he, he keeps of course asking. I have. I got a ring doorbell just for this purpose. Yeah. And now I, I don't pretend not to be home. I just let him know I'm not coming to the fucking. Fuck door. you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the best investment I've ever had as a ring doorbell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go fuck yourself every time. Okay. And the last one Man. comes in from Joseph Edward Busson. Ready for this one? Are you sure you're pronouncing that right? I don't know. All right. Okay. I'm ready. Uh, but anyways, Joseph wants to know: Never have I ever drawn a penis on someone else's face. You've traced them on there. I don't even fucking I, draw. No <laughs> traced. Yes. Yeah. You no. I've you've done both. traced them on there. I've done both. Like, hey, let me let me just do this on you. The last time I did it, I drew a penis on my sister's face. I oh my god! I didn't trace it. We were playing poker. Thank God. We were playing poker at a friend's house, and she fell asleep. And I was like, "Oh, guys, oh, watch this." Jesus. I was like, "Hey, Alexa, Christ. she got a sharpie," and she's like, "Here, what do you want it for?" And I was like, "Nothing." And I just went over there and I fucking just drew a penis. Right. <laughs> I, I'm shocked for anybody who says that they have not yeah. done this yet. Well, I'm shocked that this was even a picture. Well, question. again, but again. that said, uh, Joseph or Busson, Busson just got Busson. A, I don't know what, what job it was or whatever, but I am friends with him on Facebook. And oh, he yeah. He's got a new job, so congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Man. Congratulations yeah, man, man. on the job. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, shitty fucking question. Yeah. But that's probably where Scotty picked it. But yes, I, I've, I've d- definitely drawn a a fucking penis on somebody else's face when they're passed out. Of course, that's that's what you're supposed to do. I actually listened to part of an episode here, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago Looks good. when I wasn't on. And uh, I was sitting there going, God damn it, why don't I ever get these questions? These are actually good questions. I can have some good shit for these fucking questions. Yeah, I think you just killed Scotty. That's fine. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's hope. Maybe we can get out of this after all. <laughs> And the fact that you have your pick makes me think you're doing this shit on purpose. <clears throat> you're like my wife with her fucking sweet potatoes. You're fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> no. I promise you I'm not. Do you want me to? Help me out here on the Lord's Day for this. I'm sorry. That's what I do. I was worshiping. But thank God we're done with this. <sighs> that was uh, never I know have I, I ever. haven't drawn a penis on someone's face. Of course you haven't. You don't know how to have fun, Jeremy. I do know how to have fun. Do you really? Yeah, of course I do. Okay. Fair enough. And now it we get to move. a lot of silence. Yeah, that's no bullshit. But now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. This is, that's where I draw the line. <sighs> God, I hope these are better. I think they're better. This, I know why you didn't send me the questions now. I, I tried to, but oh, I didn't. I'm glad you didn't. Yeah. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, this week, uh, we're going to kick this off with Roger Colton. He wants to know. That's where I draw the what, line. What are these where do you draw the line? Letting someone have a sip so out of my it. drink or or having some food. No, let's. Let's let's expand on this. This is what this is why we're talented. This there, is there, why we provide content. There is no place to draw the line. You will either let them right. do it or you won't. No, no, no. What There's I'm saying, no middle ground. What I'm saying, though, have half my sandwich by God. But yeah. if they eat three quarters, no, no. I what know, I'm saying, though, is is like, have you ever been on a date and somebody wants to like have a have a share plate of food? I think the better question here is, where do you draw the line at? Who do you let? Oh, okay. Like so, Eat I your food. I have my wife, right? Okay. I do not like sharing food. 
Dude, you're kind of a prick. I am kind yeah. of a prick. Yeah, I know. Okay, I mean, so so like if you were to answer this for me, like where is the line of letting my wife have some of my food? You let your wife have whatever she fucking wants. That is incorrect. That she is, is doing you that, such a fucking favor. Yeah. Not to mention, your wife might be the one person on the planet when she says, I just want a couple of fries. I believe her. She is a very right. slender and dainty woman who I could imagine would eat two fries and be full. This is true. Uh, this is totally true. But this so is you're not really how not it giving is. up much. Yeah. You seem like the kind of guy that would have like eight fries left over in your basket. Yeah. And weren't going to eat them. But as soon as she goes to reach I get for jealous one, and want you to. would hit her hand and be like, hey, I'm yeah. eating those. Yeah. 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 I totally yeah. would do that. No, uh, no. All seriousness aside. Or all jokes aside, oh. I, oh, I, this is a series. This is hard hitting journalism uh -huh, this is, right this here. This really is. I do not like anybody sharing food with me. I do not like anybody touching my food. I never have, never will. And even my wife knows if Scotty orders something and I ask if I can have something, he has to give me permission in order to have any kind of that. So is it just about touching your food? Yeah, that you don't like. I, I, so I think like that's if, the thing. Say somebody brought a a knife up and cut like a little sliver off your sandwich or something. Sure. Yeah, you're cool with that. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine yeah. with that. Okay. Uh, as long as I'm okay with it. If I wanted to eat it all, then no. Okay. Okay. See, yeah. I'd like to do that to strangers. My God, I can't believe we've spent this much time. I know, but this, this is question. a good question. It you, is not. You, it's, you it's are. Not. It's good because I'm making it good. I'm trying I know. everything I can. I know. I'm exhausting my energies here. I'm sweating. Okay, fine. Mostly because I'm fat, but uh, yeah. Uh, Jared, part speaking of it is somebody that's fat, would you like to share your food? I share Jeremy? my food all the time. Do you really? With yeah. your wife? My dog gets the last bite of every fucking sandwich I've ever had. Okay, yeah, that's true. I Have don't we... really eat sandwich. I found some great low-carb bread, by the way. Oh, good stuff. Um, so I do get to eat a few sandwiches from time to time. Nice. But, um, no, about... he gets the last bite of everything that I eat. But, no, my wife most likely paid for it. Okay. That's so, fair. yeah, that's I'm, I'm going to share it with her. And fair I, enough. I, I guess I, I don't know that there's a point. There's a point where I would stop being friends with someone if they did it. See? But I'm still probably not going to say anything. That's my point. I get it. I, I that's that's where I was trying to get with this. Like there is there is a certain point where you get to where you're like, okay, I'm never talking to this person but, ever again. But I think cert, most people in society do understand the boundaries of a plate. I, and I, that if somebody else has that plate, it uh, is not your food. Maybe. Spouses, given that she's had your genitals in her mouth, mm -hmm. uh they can cross certain boundaries. She did that. Dogs, this given that they've had their genitals in your mouth. <laughs> I'm talking specifically your dogs. Yeah, Scotty. right. Yeah. I know you suck your dog's dicks a lot. <laughs> um, you know, they can cross that line. Plus, they don't understand human boundaries. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how about you, JP? Uh, I don't want to answer. I already answered. <sighs> did you? You don't care? Yeah, I don't care. You don't care. Okay, no. so I'm going to take all of your food. Okay. Whenever there's an apocalypse. You're gonna, you're gonna be really, really, <laughs> really disappointed. You're just gonna jizz all over. You no, know, it's of just it. gonna be macaroni and cheese and ramen noodles. <laughs> okay. I hope you like I'm that. I'm okay with that. Okay, well. Fine. Uh next one comes in from Alex Robinson. He wants to know how many beers is too many when playing a round of golf? Oh my god, they just get better. One. One. Yeah, because you're weird. One, I, I I don't drink when I golf. I, I don't I, drink when I shoot. I don't drink at all. No, I'm out. Thank God well, you don't okay, drink when that's, you shoot. That's a whole different thing. Yeah, drinking while is. golfing is kind of a tradition. It yeah. is. Yeah. Um, now I haven't <laughs> golfed in a long time, but I used to a little bit, and I have sure. been with people while we were drinking on the golf course. And I can tell you, it's it's not a certain amount or a number necessarily. It's whenever you start having to be like, dude, come on. Hurry the fuck up. Whenever yep. they can't play at a regular pace anymore, yep. that's too many. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to go with Jeremy on that Okay, one. sounds like good. Uh, Zachary Charles Say wants to know, uh, what is this? Oh, uh, holiday decorations on out on on the outside of your house. Oh, he wants to know, what's where do you draw the line on the holiday decorations on the outside of your house? For those of you that we... What? told to like and subscribe when we started the show i'd like to sincerely sure. apologize <laughs> sorry if you did it already before you started listening to the show hey, all apology you know it's just as easy to go back and take it away thanks uh, you're welcome it. and what was the question i again? was just what you just 
took time to fuck with me, and that and it was you, more interesting than this fucking question. Where do yeah. I, I don't care. I, no, where I, you do you draw can the go line? Clark, you can go all Clark Griswold. Clark Griswold. Yeah, can you yeah. say Clark Griswold three yeah. times fast? Yeah, Clark was nope. Yeah, nobody can. <laughs> can't say it one time fast. Yeah, no. nobody can. Uh, anyways, yeah. no. Zachary Charles to say wants to know where do you draw the line on holiday decorations yeah. on the outside of your house? No line. There's a line. Go all Griswold with for, it. No, for us a line. personally or for what we think other people should do? Uh, this both. is a very unspecific question. I, don't, I really don't give a fuck Me what either. anybody else do. God forbid somebody be festive. <laughs> <laughs> Not in my neighborhood. Fuck you. No, but what about in your house? Well, oh, wow. from time to time and not every year, and I haven't done it in a couple of years, we do those icicle lights along the gutters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, we, you know, because I make the rules in the house, we only use white lights. No colors. No colors. No colors allowed. That's what Jesus I say. Christ. No. Um, it's Christmas, for God's sake. It's right. supposed to be white. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah, there's no, there's no vibrantly colored icicles out there does christmas thank you yeah good stuff <laughs> thank you <too>. <laughs> no <laughs> for for me you know i think just you know if i do it which i don't do anymore because i've decided i fucking hate ladders oh yeah it yeah. is so much higher once you're up there than it was it looked from the ground and ladders are heavy and my ladder sucks and yeah. the peak of the roof where i got to get up to is bullshit it is insanely high. Like, I don't think planes fly that high. We should have a red light on top of our house, and that should be our only Christmas light. Okay. Uh, but I am not going to get into the, uh, like, inflatables. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not going to do that. What about, we do enough shit on the inside. What about the people that, like, make, like, Christmas lights that are in tune with, like, a radio station? Like, you've seen those people, yeah. right? Yeah, I love it. Oh, you love that? I don't dislike it. Would way. you do it? No. But it's because it's a lot of work. Oh, it's it's much more okay. about putting yeah. in work to do I it. Agree. As far as I, I like it when other people do it, I, I'm not sitting there mad. Yeah, it's at not it. me. Yeah, it's I not me. I mean, yeah, fuck that. we no, we used to drive around and look at people's Christmas light displays. Okay, because it's like, oh, look at that. That's pretty. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't want to do the, all the work it took to do that, but it's no. it looks nice. Yeah, but your wife puts a lot of work into Christmas. Not on the outside. Yeah, on the inside. Okay. The inside. All right. That's good. She's, she's just <laughs> just like me. She's beautiful on the inside. Got it. How about how about you, JP? Do you I already answered? Oh yeah, that's right. You said no. Mm -hmm. I, I like with me personally. That's where I draw the line. Is the the radio station tune in yeah. shit? I'm like, okay, you've you've gone too far. I'm not that interested in your fucking Christmas. So lights. what do you, what would you say to those people, Scotty, if you could talk to them? Like if would you go up to their house and be like, "Hey, no, no, of course no, not. you did all this no. shit. No, I'm not allowing this. I'm calling the cops. No, I, like, I draw the line. That's the name of the segment. I I think that every single individual person has the the right to do whatever the hell they want to do with their own individual property. And guess what? If they want to do all kinds of crazy shit, they can definitely do all kinds of crazy shit. The thing is is that I would not do said crazy shit. I just want to be left alone, and that's why I don't even decorate my house at all. Well, I that, don't. That and you're just a horrible human being. Yeah, that's exactly. It. Right. You are despicable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's the, that's my answer. I mean, uh, have you seen your taste in questions? I can't imagine what your Christmas lights would yeah, look Yeah, well, thanks like. for the help, you dickheads. I've been I'm, helping as much as I'm I can. I know, <laughs> but I'm just saying. You know, uh, now that he's pointed it out, we can't let it go. I know, right? we can't let it go. Uh, next one comes in from Reese Newland. He wants to know, uh, where do you draw the line? How old is too old to start over? 24. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> you get to 25, <coughs> fight it. You're, whatever's happening, you might as well just keep doing it. JP? There's no turning back. JP? I can tell you, fucking uh, forty is not forty is too old to yeah, start 40, over. Yeah, forty is too old. I mean, I had to, it's, and that's why I am where I am. I know, it's but not, that's okay. It's not too old. It's but you just have to alter your expectations, right? Right. So, yeah. and I have Low, lower expectations. Yeah, twenty three. I have no expectations. Twenty three year old on grinder, maybe. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and you know that happens once every four or five years, and. <laughs> You just live with it and you okay. go on. All right, deal. So. I mean, Scotty, you're probably getting divorced soon, so yeah, yeah, you're going to have to sure. face this, and mm. you better hope you're not past the the age where it's too late to turn around. 
I think I'm okay. Start over. I, I like I, I've kind of I'm, I'm kind of like accepting this is yeah. going to be a, a eventual thing. Oh, it's a and very so, temporary thing. Yeah, and so I'm like, uh, I think I can handle it. I think yeah, I'll be okay. be okay. And she's yeah. going to take everything. Uh, There's no doubt. Yeah. No, she's not. For the not. pain no, and suffering. Not. Well, not she's for, not going to want we're everything. We're talking about Scotty, man. Yeah, man. Uh, I, like, I got to I got to say my wife if she wants to leave me, she can leave me, but she's not going to want to just ruin me. Like that's just the way that she is. Why not? I want to ruin you. I, I want you to I want you to ruin me back. I, that no! <laughs> no! She's going to ruin you like you've ruined this podcast. Oh god, then you're fucked. It's only taken 5 years, by the way. To ruin he, this podcast. You're, you're going to be in your divorce trial and the judge is going to be talking to your attorney going Get better questions. <laughs> Jesus, what kind of questions are these? Oh. Right. Uh, last one is uh, coming in from Chuck Nine Fingers Beerman. Because if you're going to accept a question, it's going to be from it's, that guy. Right. Can can we... Okay, I want him to write in, literally, because I imagine if he... You want to know why he's nine fingers? No, let's take bets. Which finger is missing? Oh. Uh, I'm gonna you think it's... Point, pointer, pointer on the point, right, right, right. Pointer, pointer on the right hand. Right hand, yeah. Okay. What about you, Jeremy? You gonna go left hand pointer finger? I'm gonna go right hand ring finger. Oh. And then he looks like he's. What if he's left hand ring? What if he's left hand ring fingered because well, his, his wife, wife took everything? <laughs> exactly, he took everything. I hope he wasn't too old to start over. Yeah, but you know what? He probably was. I think the right hand ring finger because I think that's the easiest one to lose track of. Okay, that's fair enough. And I hope he never shit himself while trying to take a piss while he pretended not to be home <laughs> so he didn't have to answer the door. Oh, that, yeah. That would be that bad. That sucked. And, and I'm going to say, and this is way out of left field, but I'm going to say he lost it due to cancer. Oh, dude got finger say, cancer. I was going to say cancer. diabetes. Finger cancer. <laughs> God. That finger sucks. cancer is rough. Wow. Finger cancer is that rough. means because diabetes usually starts from the ground up. So right. he had to lose so, a lot of other right. shit yeah. to get on the finger. Yeah. But anyways, Chuck, right. Chuck wants to know how much pain or discomfort is enough to finally break down and go to the hospital. This is a good question, I think. I, you thought the last 12 were good, too. Um, so this is, no, this I, is, this don't, is, I don't trust your judgment, This sir. is real life, though, JP. Like, when when do you finally go, I could, okay. The last right, time I that this happened, I could barely fucking walk. Like, okay. And I was like, okay, I, I fucking got to go. And I he fucking fucked you that made, hard? I made my way to the uh, car and drove myself to the hospital. Oh, you I drove had yourself. Uh, kidney stones. Yep. Oh. That's what I was going to say, too. I've had a kidney stone, and it is... Oh, it's crazy. mind-bogglingly yeah. crazy. Just, it, I thought I was dying. <laughs> yeah, no. J uh, Jeremy was actually scheduled to be on the show. Like he was actually scheduled was to be on the show. I was still a part of the. He show. was still a part of the show, and he was poor bastard. And uh -huh. he texted. That's no what wonder. Gave the yeah, stone. I was gonna yeah. say no wonder. Because they can stones. do they can do like genetic testing on the kidney stones <clears throat> and figure out what it is that was the cause of it. And, and they it said podcast. The Pod it's yeah. a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is podcasting for sure. Um, yeah, no, like if I can't, if I can't do a regular, excuse me, a regular task, then that's when I, whenever I'm, I'm going to the hospital, I can't, I can't do it. But like Jeremy going to the hospital was, was terrible because like, I, I was actually like scared. Who for the fuck him. you telling? What do you mean? It was worse for me. I know, but I felt really bad. You didn't even know what was happening until I had my surgery. Well, I didn't know what was happening. I just knew that you were in immense pain and i felt terrible it, for you what bothered me is that they didn't because when i came in they're like is there anybody we'd like you to contact or anything and i'm like yeah scotty <laughs> contact scotty from laughing on the sidelines podcast let him, yeah. let him know that i'm in here in the emergency room that i might not make it no instead i get a text message from jeremy be like i ain't gonna be on this week's show and i'm like okay we'll figure it out i gave you several days notice you did thank you very much it's uh something. i almost sent you that exact text today when i woke up <laughs> How, however i yeah. mean Okay, like I say, my my entire family pretty much is in the medical field, a lot of nurses. Mm -hmm. And whenever you go to the emergency room or doctor's office, whatever, they you know kind of run through these initial questions and shit, and they always ask you, what's on a scale of 1 to 10, what's your pain level at? And uh, based on everything my family had, everybody thinks they're at a 10, and most people have no idea. what if, yeah, I, if, yeah. if your pain level is out of 10, you won't be able to tell right. somebody that you're, you'll be sitting there screaming the whole time that they're asking you these questions. Um, so on a pain level scale, I'm going to say seven. Okay. Uh, anything above that. 
Uh, anything below that, I can wait till the next day and make an appointment with my doctor. Nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's uh, Laughing on the Sidelines. That's where I draw the line. Thank you guys so very much for participating in Monday, Friday. Even if all of these fuckers didn't like your questions, I sincerely do appreciate it. All two of us. That's what makes this show, and I sincerely do appreciate it. But now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. We're going to kick this bad boy off with Dan Jones. Didn't he have... There's a lot of questions here. There are. Are we yeah. going to do them all? Yeah, we're going to do them all. We're going to do every single one of them. Mm. Uh, he wants to know, Dan Jones wants to know, rejected names for butt plugs. Scotty's. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I call mine. Oh, all right. Great. I was going to say shit stoppers, but you win. Yeah, good job. Uh, Jeremy? Uh, plopsicle sticks. Plopsicle sticks. <laughs> plopsicle sticks. <laughs> Popsicle sticks. Oh, that one. Okay. Uh, next one comes in from Alex Robinson. He wants to know the worst weight loss tips. Eat no vegetables. Yeah. No meat. Oh. Just carbs. Just carbs. Just all Just carbs. Carb load every day, all day, and you will lose all the weight. Yep. That's. I think I think the one that everybody is actually doing that is a terrible deal is just like just do just go on a liquid diet. Oh yeah. Yeah, just yeah. just drink all the beer, all the whiskey, everything that you want, and then you're gonna eventually lose weight. Eventually. Mm-hmm. That's the yeah, one. Yeah, because you're gonna die and fucking You're gonna lose a shitload of weight yeah, when you're dead. Yeah. How about you, uh, Jeremy? Uh it's called the Andre the Giant diet. <laughs> <laughs> Eat that dude. He lost thirty pounds. Just, I have no idea what the fuck he ate, but dude actually toward the end was trying to lose weight, and they said that he went on this diet that was three times what a normal person would eat. Oh, but it was and lost it, weight and and lost like thirty pounds yeah. doing it. Yeah. Oh god, because it was way less than what <laughs> he was what eating. he normally ate. Oh That's my! Awesome. So Lord. the Andre the Giant diet. That's awesome. Taylor Moroski uh, comes in. She wants to know inappropriate things to do to someone with dementia. Let him run for president. <laughs> got that one. How about you, JP? Pretend to be their grandson and tell him I never got my birthday cards. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give me a bunch of $100 bills. I like that shit. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. How about you, uh, Jeremy? Hide their meds. <laughs> their meds. Yes. I love I mean, it. That's just inappropriate to do to anybody. Yeah. Really. Fuck. Yeah. That's terrible. Uh, We're telling them they already took them. Yeah. Oh yeah. I thought I did. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't yeah. know what those drugs are, but it's more for me. I'll tell you that. Right. That's right. I'll take them. Uh, Braxton. That's how I lose weight. Braxton Lint wants to know strange causes to raise money for. To, I, got, to, I, got, I don't know obliterate the humane society <laughs> right yeah it's nice yeah yeah we've already said it oh i'm raising a bunch of money to try and buy cases of lube oh okay now that's okay that's more more of a go fund me is what yeah, that is. Right. yeah that's more of a go fund me. okay uh toe cancer uh yeah, okay yeah like that's a weird that's okay. a better finger cost. cancer yeah finger yeah, cancer is bad but yeah, toe, toe cancer, cancer it's just doesn't make any sense mm. Uh, Matt Shartner comes in. He wants to know what are That's the. It's not his real last name, is it? It, it, is. it is. Wow. Yeah. I, I actually want to meet this guy. He could take my spot. <laughs> Shartner. Yeah. Matt Shartner wants to know what are the dumbest things to brag about? Jeremy Joseph, everybody, because this is what his fucking father in law does on a regular basis. Oh, God. It, I don't know that he necessarily brags about things. He just tries to one up you with shit that's not nearly as interesting as whatever it was you were talking about. Yeah, like I, I shot, I, I shot a target at at three hundred yards. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We used to. I used to bullseye him at seven with my pistol all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy. You know, brag about like you know he would do shit like if you. Say he found a, a car in a classified ad that was three thousand dollars below market value, and he'd be like, "Oh yeah, I remember one time when I went to buy a car. I got, I talked a guy into free car mats." <laughs> God, wow, you're shrewd, way I, more than I am. I've always thought about it like like I had sex with this chick, and she had sex with everybody. 
Does that make sense? Like, she was the high school whore. Not really, but we're almost through this segment, so I'm going to go with it. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. I know, I, I appreciate I know what you're it. saying. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate you bet. it. I got you. How back. about you, JP? What do you got? You're like the guys who brag I'm about a, banging your sister. Bragging That's, about. Yeah, exactly. It's like bragging about being everybody a good bowler. has. Huh? Bragging about being a good bowler. Good bowler? Yeah. yeah. That's that's yeah, no right. joke. Yeah. I don't, I don't do that. I mean, I am good. You should. I don't brag about you it. You should. You should it's brag too, about it. No. It's too bad you're that you're gay, because I'm guessing that would get you all kinds of puss. Absolutely. Oh, yeah? There's, there's oh, got to yeah. be lane bunnies out there. Absolutely. Lane bunnies. Lane yeah, bunnies. I, there are. Gutter but, uh, bun- they call them gutter bunnies. Yeah, right. Nice. Um, they look like Andre the Giant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Before uh, or after the weight loss? Before. <laughs> okay. right. uh, Dan Delaney wants to know, what sport would be in, improved dramatically if the in, uh, introduction of a hockey-like fighting rules? Bowling. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Golf. Motherfucker, I am to the right <laughs> of you. You wait for me. <laughs> Just start laying into him. Oh, fuck yeah. That'd be great. Is, is there like a quick release way to throw off your... Your uh, wrist this brace, <laughs> no, that Throw would that be, down. There would there would have to be. We, yeah, we could. We would have to invent the fucking quick release wrist brace. Yes. Yeah, dude, that's worth a hundred dollars right yeah, there. Easily. Yeah, I was gonna go track and field. Yeah. Okay. I was just gonna go with track and field. Snowboarding, like like any event. Just yeah, like just, they just like stop pl- like stop the field of play and like let them duke it out. I yeah. think that would be fine. Sure. J- javelin. Some guy comes running up behind him and inst- he's just like. What what about NASCAR? Like all uh, all of a sudden it's a yellow flag and like everybody just has to stop. Mm. That that actually ha- fist fights break out. Yeah. In oh, NASCAR I know. Pits all the time. But what I, if it I were don't think legal. they need a ru- rule for it? I know, but what if it were completely and totally legal to where it's like okay, these guys are fighting on the fucking track and just let them duke it, it out. Should be more like a demo derby anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm do, like, do okay, the cars I, have to still be going? No, they have. No, everybody yeah. has to stop. Oh. Uh. Okay. Okay. I think All everybody right. but one person should stop. Oh, and one guy should just keep going around. But and that's then, twenty points, right? Right. That's what I'm saying. That guy <laughs> yeah. could fucking he see how many points he can score. That's true. How about you, Jeremy? We just answered it. Oh, right. did you answer? Uh, All right. No, I just kind of contributed on. Didn't like, I? Yeah, you uh. did. Yeah, I just kind of contributed. Do you have anything else? Uh, darts? I don't know. Darts. Uh, basically, darts. any sport, <laughs> but. In order to have these fighting rules, they actually have to allow cross checking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One hundred percent. Which would be great in track and field. It would. Okay. If All you right. if you know somebody's coming up behind you, just fucking lay right into them. Right. And then they can get up and whip your ass. Yeah. All right. And the last one. Last great. but certainly great, not least. This is wonderful. This is my favorite question of the entire deal. Oh, that's hard. That's <laughs> Thank God you wow. saved it for last yeah. after everybody's quit listening. That's a toughie there. <laughs> yep. Uh, Bradley Tucker wants to know, what disability is okay to hook up with? <laughs> <laughs> what hard R retardation would you like to hook up with, JP? What's the one where they're an adult, but they still look like a kid? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Yeah. Yeah. no! 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 Absolutely not. That's it's perfectly absolutely legal, legal, Scotty. It's totally legal. Oh, God, no. <laughs> no! They are of age. Mentally. Oh. Come on. No, absolutely not. We can't do that. That's not... that. No. 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 Jesus Christ. Are you trying to get us canceled? They are adults. No, they need, they're adults. They need love, too. They, yeah, they have needs. That shit creeps me out. The diver, yeah, the diver thing is just a bonus. It's, oh, my God. It totally should. <laughs> but again, there are still adults on, on the inside. Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah. Somebody's got to do it. Might as well be you. Still your favorite question? Yeah, yeah. it still is. <laughs> No, like, uh, okay, here, here's, here's a real deal. Okay. Uh, so whenever I was in college, I was in an English class, and uh, there was a girl who was extremely attractive, but she was deaf. Mm. And I really wanted to, to, like, go up to her and say, like, hey, how are you, whatever. And uh, then I saw her boyfriend, and he was, like, six foot five and could legitimately pound me into the sand, so I decided not to. 
But and, I would and, say death. Oh, I wish you would have. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, everybody would have wished that I would have died. But um, You could say whatever. Yeah. Especially if you're behind her. Yeah. She can't read ah! your lips. Yeah, that's true. She couldn't hear a fucking thing. I think it would be great. Uh, yeah. so, you like so, I'd like to read your lips? Yep. Or, or lick them. Down low? Yep. Or lick them. I'm talking puss lips, guys. Yeah, I know. Labia. I know. How, how about uh -huh. you, how about you I'm, Jeremy? I'm doing what I can here. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? What do you got? Okay. What? Okay. What disability, what disability are you okay to hook up with? Oh, God. Some kind of palsy would be all right. Yeah, that'd be okay. I think so long as they insist on referring to themselves as handicapable, That's, they're fair game. Yeah. Okay. That's you're, fair. You're just like as that. good as the rest of us. I, I think that's okay. I think Jeremy could have hopped mm. down off that rascal. Yeah. And just hop on this. Okay. That's fair. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines question. No blinds. Okay. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> blinds are gross. Yeah. That is this week's on Laughing on the Sidelines questions and preguntas. Thank you guys so very much for participating in Monday, Friday. We sincerely do appreciate it. Oh, boy. But now. We get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Um, Derek. Uh, won last week's draft, but guess who's not here? So that means JP. Oh, sorry. All right, that's enough. Oh, it's not uh, enough. JP ended up winning uh, on a technicality, so he gets the championship picks for this week. I get the Eiffel Tower picks because I came in dead last, as always. And Jeremy Joseph gets the first overall pick. And you know what? I, I actually kind of like this draft. I'm actually kind of excited about it. Uh, this comes in uh, not from a listener. This one comes, uh, comes in from me, and that is the draft of where you would like to live in the mm. states, the states that you would like to live. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're you're going to try to fucking cheat in this draft, and I know it's going to— I gonna, don't cheat. You I cheat. think differently. No, you cheat. The U.S. Call it what you want, United man. States states. You said that, that is you, not what the no, question that's said. that's what the question— No, no this, not. The United, Read the question. In the United Read the states, question. In the United States, that's not what, what the states question says. would you want to live in? That's not what you guys the question says. Alone, or? Yeah. No, All right. please don't. Believe me, I, I can. I would know. Yeah. No, I'm good. Uh, but yeah, what United that's States what, no. state would you like to no, live in? And, and you know what? It's cool because you get the last, you get the championship picks. Uh, Jeremy Joseph, what? You get the first overall pick. What United States state would you like to live that's, in? That's no. Yeah. No, we're not. Oh yeah. You can't. No, you can't alter it now because yeah. now I have to go back out and smoke more cigarettes. I know how you're playing. Find out my I know how you're playing. You let's, don't. Let's you, go. You think you know, but I, you still don't. Okay, fine. Uh, Jeremy, what's your first overall pick, buddy? God, I would love to live in a state of silence. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. And JP's like, that was my number one pick. Christ and peace. That's on my list. Quiet. Yeah, I know. I figured it was. Serenity now. God yeah. damn yeah. it. This has been just a wonderful episode, guys. This is this is top top three, notch. Top 300 for yeah, sure. For sure. 302, whatever. Uh, you know what? Everything's bigger and better in Texas. Oh. oh Texas. Damn it. I like that pick. I do. The only state to ever beat an entire country. Yeah. No yeah. That would have been my number one if uh, if you didn't pick it. But I'm glad you didn't pick uh, one that I legitimately have wanted to move to. Except my wife won't let me do it. But I would love to live in Alaska. Mm. Alaska is my number one place I would want to live. Alaska would eat you the fuck alive. Probably. <laughs> Probably. He's got I'd, guns now. I'd I, die. I don't care. But you, still. Look at him. He's like a fucking baby bird. I know. He's... You could, but you could literally poke a hole through him with a high-pressure garden hose. Probably. But still, I, I still, like... Man, I would love to go out there and live on my own and let the government not be able to touch me or the shit. 
Uh, but anyways, JP, what U.S. state? No, dude. U.S. I'm not. state. United States of America state would you love to live in? Okay, JP, we can also include Puerto Rico. You can. No, yeah, thank you, you can use Puerto Rico. If that you. helps. Yeah. No. If that you brings get, us uh, two in a row. I would row. like to live in a state of euphoria. And that's not a state. That's, it is a state. It no. was an Anthrax album, and that was produced in the United States. So uh, look, I think man, he's got a point. We're going to have a long episode if you try. I know. If you try we're not ready. No. Picking we, these answers. No. No, dude, it does US. not say that. It doesn't say that. Yeah, I'm the one who made it up. Right, but it doesn't say that on the paper. I, right, it, it doesn't say thing, it on the Scotty. paper at all. You said what state do you want to live in, and I said a state of euphoria. For being ramen noodle broke, JP has great attorneys actually, and okay. he can come after you. I will you. sue you. I'll own this fucking show by the time I'm done and shut it down <laughs> immediately. Jeremy Joseph is going to win anyways. But right. anyways, I don't know that let I me am. have my fun. I think so. Uh, what is your next U.S. state? Because euphoria is not. It's disqualified. That's so, fine. You disqualify me. I don't give a that, fuck. That's it's fine. More what? of a territory. Yeah, it's more of a territory. It's kind of a thing. But but what else do you got? Confusion. Confusion. Okay. That's another not a U.S. U.S. If he state. gets to take those, why don't I get silence? You can have silence. It's on my All list. Right, All right. That's fine. It's All literally right. on my list. Now Scotty's yeah. going to take it. No, I'm not. I'm no, not. I'm going to actually play this game, and I'm going to go. I'm playing it, too. I play to win. Uh, I'm going to go along the same lines, and I'm going to go with, uh, uh, oh, God damn it. I don't. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna go with where I want to move, and that's Utah. Utah is of the snow, dude. I, the like they have the Mormons, dude. I want to uh, go. I want to be too. I would give <laughs> you, anything. You make to, a good point. Would I would you ever give answer your anything door? to Park City, Utah. Yeah, yeah. Would you answer your door? No, never, no. Never. I would have six ring doorbells. If <laughs> I lived in Utah. I'm pretty sure. Fucking... I'm pretty sure they're constitutional carry there. I'd be okay. I'd be fine. I didn't say you'd be attacked by him. I'm just saying they'd come to your house and bug the fuck out of you a lot. Yeah, I don't think they would. Mormons? That's yeah. all they do. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what that's their thing. That's their it's first kind of their commandment. thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they would. No, now they shout, would. go to a stranger's house and bug the <laughs> fuck out of them for no reason. I think I On would their probably stupid bicycles. I'd probably do something that would probably. You know, actually, yeah. one of the guys I follow on YouTube is a. He was a Mormon and. He, he lives in Alaska. He's one of these fucking survivalists. Oh, yeah. A guy named Luke Nichols. The Outdoor Boys is his channel. Yeah, I Dude's love that guy. I love Fucking gourmet chef over a goddamn campfire. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's insane. And, and every time he's like, you know, he'll, he'll talk about how you've got to light a big fire to dry out all the snow to get the ground dry because you don't want to put your sleeping bag in wet snow. And I'm like, you don't have to do this. <laughs> There's this is not necessary. You chose to fucking do this, so you don't have to do anything. You could have stayed at home. Yeah, he's an attorney. That's what he does in real life. He's a DUI attorney. He used to be. Well, yeah. Now yeah, he, he makes his money not, off the of fucking YouTube. Correct. Channel. Yeah. I looked it up. Dude made probably more nine million dollars yeah. yeah, last year off yeah, this shit. He was right. a stud, but now he's yeah. just doing this, and I think it's fucking great. Uh, but anyways, Jeremy, uh, you what? get two in a row. What do you got? Well, silence, of course. <sighs> Ah, uh, disqualify me now, bitch! I'm gonna disqual disqualify both of you. No, because you have that power. I do. And then, of course, Idaho. Idaho. That's yeah, where that's people go who want to be left alone, or if they want potatoes. I, yeah, that's true. That's true. I you, do. You know why they can grow so many potatoes? Because people leave them the fuck alone. <laughs> yeah. Nobody walks on the goddamn ground right. there. They, it's it's undisturbed. Okay, I, I I'm surprised because I was expecting you to actually play the game. I am. You're I did. not. I am. Uh, no, no, no. Sort of. uh, Jeremy, you're playing the game. No, we only talk about me on this show. Right. You're correct. <laughs> um, but no, I, I was I was thinking that I that I was not going to be able to get this state because God forbid there should be a little you know creative twist right. thrown into right. this. Some funny. That's what I'm saying. Let's be creative. No, now let's draw it out with crayons. <laughs> what state you yeah. want to live in? Yeah. I want Much I'll, like the questions that we've had today. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. This draft has yes. went off the rails. Correct. Uh I I I it, you know what? If you put me out there, I'm going to fucking do just fine and that is Hawaii. Okay. Or Hawaii. I would love to live in Hawaii. That would be so much fun. Uh you would think it, it's it's the plane ride over there that was going to get me. No, it's um in the sharks. There's a reason Dog the Bounty Hunter made a real good living over there. Yeah. It ain't all resorts. No. There's a lot of shit parts no. of Hawaii. My oh, wife sure. yeah. my wife lived 
in there after she she went from Japan to sure. Hawaii as a kid growing up. And she said, actually, it you feel trapped. I believe you do, yeah. It's like three hours to drive around the big island. Mm -hmm. And you can't, it, you sit there going, if there was something horrible happens, I can't go anywhere. Yeah, I couldn't do that. And yeah, so, sucks. but you already picked it. Yep. Tough shit. I did. Uh, JP, how about you pick a real estate? Ignorant bliss. Okay. So no. State of ignorant bliss. I would live there. Yeah. I'm just going to put ignorance. I'm sure you are. And then your next pick that doesn't exist in the United States. What do you got? It does exist. Suicide. How about, how, about you, how about you do suicide? You want to do suicide? It's not a state. That's more of a final I, condition. More than you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry I brought it up. Uh, but no, seriously, do uh, you want to go with uh, uh, depression? You want to go with depression? State. Shock. I already lived that shock. way. Shock. Yeah, I figured. Shock. shock. Yes, yeah, shock. Let's go shock. Okay. All right. Shock. That's Wichita. Oops, whoops, I can't even can't spell shock. Nope. It's a tough uh, one. Yeah, it, it's it is. It's a tough one. It, it is a tough one. All four letters. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Five, if you count all of them. Yep. And uh, I guess if I had to, if I had, <laughs> like, here's the thing. I am terrified of, of hurricanes and, yeah. and shit like that. As but well, you should be. They I, kill people. They kill the shit of people. Your stuff. But they know ahead of time, like, if they're coming. Sometimes. No, all the time. Well, okay, they know they're coming, but they don't know how bad it's yeah, going right. to be. Right, right. But I'm not the guy to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just ride this one out. No, I'm not going to be that guy. No, you're the first guy on the highway. I'm a guy fucking, I'm a guy like, yeah. all right, fuck this I'm shit, out. I'm out. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go with Florida. Okay. Florida, I could be totally good. I think I could be totally fine with that. So Florida is my next pick. I could see you in a tank top all the time, jean shorts, oh boy. chain wallet. Oh. I can do it. Oh, stop. Does that turn you on? Turn Sorry. me on. Get me excited. Scotty and really? tank, me? Top. tank top and short shorts me? with a chain wallet. Oh, my God. Me? Yeah. You can't, I can't tell you how many times I've woken so up. So you're from... basically telling me that I'm better looking than Mike? Oh, I mean, come on. Oh, there it that is. Was, I, mean, I got it. It took three weeks. It but... took three weeks, but I got it. I'm better looking than Mike. Mike. Everybody's better looking than Mike. Everybody's looking <laughs> better looking than Mike's receding hairline. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Jeremy, you get two in a row. These are your last two. I'm going to go, just for the love of George Carlin, I'm going to go with New Hampshire. Shit. Uh, that was the one I was actually hoping would come back to me. Fuck. Okay. Uh, and have, your next have one? You, have you heard his bit on that? Uh, New Hampshire? Well, because I took Idaho before. Uh -huh. Idaho's state slogan is famous potatoes. Uh-huh. New Hampshire's is live free or die. <laughs> <laughs> and it yeah. seems like between famous potatoes or live free and die, I would take there should be... A happy medium somewhere in there, but there doesn't seem to be. I would say live free or die. Yeah, that, obviously. That'd be mine. Because if you don't live free, then you are. To, what, yeah, exactly. Are, are you really alive, man? Yeah, pretty fucking, much. You're a fucking hippie. Yep. That's what do you got? you are. Your last one. What do you got? Oh, God. I got mine. I'm excited. Man. I got mine, too. Okay. You're going to love it. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to hate it, actually. Where would I be left? I know I'm going to hate it. Where would I'm I be left alone the most at? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Montana. Oh! I'd be, I'd be, oh, that's Darn the it. one. I, I would be left alone. Uh, a, yeah, big sky one. country, fellas. No, you legitimately picked the state that looks like Joe Biden sniffing children. Hmm. It's is it really? So, yeah. Yeah, it actually do, is. Do you think that's how the, how it got its shape? Yeah, actually, uh, that's that's how they drew the line. You know what, guys? In 150 years, mm -hmm. we're going to have a president who's weird and demented and kind yeah. of a little creepy. A little creepy. And we want to make the state look like him sniffing a child. Yep, pretty much. Okay. All right. God damn it. I've sniffed okay. worse things. Sure. Okay. All right. Uh, well, the, you uh, know what? 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 Say Say what? All right. What? What? I want to know what JP is sniffing. It's worse than a child. Yeah, what were you going to say? Because they stink. What were you going to say? A child's butthole. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Lord have mercy. Which is part of a child. I guess. Really, it is. really I guess it's it, the same. It, 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 it you really just, is. You can't do anything in the spirit of the game, no. can you? Yeah, God no. God damn, you're no. a rule breaker. Dude, Not at all. Yeah. Well, you're a rebel. I am. All right, so this comes from my wife. Uh, we do have a dream of one day moving upstate and getting our own, like, cabin on a lake in Maine. There you go. And uh, there is a Discovery Channel TV show of this, like, group of people that go up and, like, 
fucking fix them up and make them all nice and pretty and shit like that. And I'm like, there's no way that we could afford that, but I want that shit. <laughs> like, I want that shit so bad. You pussy. That's practically Canada. Leave me alone is what I'm trying to say. Like, my entire list, Alaska, Utah, Hawaii, Florida, Maine. Leave Again, me the fuck alone. There's probably not a state where you will be bothered more by strangers than in Utah. I, th- I But I have constitutional carry, so I can just shoot You them. can't just shoot them. I think you, you can. can't. I've tried. Nah, Number I, one, they're dodgy. Uh, they, are they? Yeah, they, they can expect it. They are not. Know. They see it coming. And by the way, some know. a lot of them probably carry too. That's, I would too if it was my job to yeah, go around annoying yeah. the fuck out of people. I think so too, but like, what if you put up signs on your house? Like, hey, don't come up here. You're going to get shot. Well, then they probably won't come up there. Okay, then I'm going to do that. Have you seen the sophisticated ones on the segways? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I wow. have. It makes me want to be a Mormon now. Yeah. Just, yeah. just for a segue. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's that really is, <clears throat> that's like today's Harley Davidson, It's like if Jay, you ask me. You know what? You should be on a Segway. You'd be a faggot on a Segway. That'd be fucking awesome. I wow. think that'd be great. I think it would, too. I think it'd be great. An FOS. <clears throat> yeah, FOS. That'd be, that sounds mm-hmm. good. Yep. Yep. Uh, how about you, J, uh, JP, your last? You're going to love this one. I'm going to guess it's not an actual state. What do you got? Colorado. Col- oh. <laughs> 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 he picked a state. Hmm. All right. Have you seen the... Uh, Dude, if I don't win this draft, it's rigged. No, it's yeah, not. For real. You didn't play the game. I did play the it's game. You people didn't play the game better than you I'm, did. I'm voting for JP. Thank honestly. you, Jeremy. I'll vote for you. No, don't. That that would <laughs> totally negate my vote. Okay, well, I'll vote for me then. I fucking hate my life. I'm not voting for I Scotty. Abso- I absolutely hate my life. Right now. I'm but voting you know for Perot. Yeah, you should. I'm Perot. voting for Perot. Fucking Perot. Absolutely. You should. You should mm-hmm. vote for Perot. But anyways. Is he let, still with us? He can't be, can he? No, I'm pretty sure he's dead. I think he died like. He'd be 180. Yeah. Or some shit. Yeah, something like that. That was a long time ago, and it doesn't seem like that long. Yeah. Right. Oh, man, it's crazy. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for participating in our draft. You can vote for the best list of the states that you would love to live in. And I mean, JP's are shit. Absolute shit. But you can go and vote for Jeremy Joseph or myself at facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or Twitter or X, whatever you call it, at LOT sidelines and vote. I would sincerely I'm gonna do appreciate it. I'm going to vote JP for Comptroller. I Fuck yeah. Because I, think so. I don't that, know what yeah. it is. I don't yeah, know what fine. Comptrollers make, but it's yeah. got to be more than what I'm pulling in it now. It has to Pretty be. much. Yeah, yeah. They, I guess they so. ain't eating ramen yeah. noodles. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. mac and cheese powder. Maybe <laughs> JP will actually eventually get some dick. But anyways, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines. Shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang. And ladies and gentlemen, Lego! All right, this one's going to take a little uh, explanation to make you understand how shit worked here. But basically, two-thirds of our planet, you know, is covered in water. And underneath... The land under that water, there's a fuck ton of crude oil. And as a result, you know, mankind kind of runs on crude oil. And as a result, we have, uh, well, not we, I wasn't a part of it, but uh, people have developed these very large floating oil rigs to go out on the ocean, large bodies of water, and drill for this oil. Probably the most famous one was the uh, uh, British Petroleum Deepwater Horizon that uh, they ignored a bunch of safety protocols and it blew up in the Gulf of Mexico. And there's was a movie the, about that one. Yeah. Ma- Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Made him yeah. famous. Wahlberg. You know, yeah. Yeah. He's side. nobody till then. Yeah. You know, Marky Mark, Funky Bunch. Yeah. I, I can't believe that he doesn't get movie parts for more of the I Funky Bunch. I don't even. Uh, anyways, uh, it was the biggest uh, U.S. oil spill or oil spill in U.S. history and really fucked up the Gulf. Uh, slightly lesser known oil rig ship whatever the fuck barge that you want to call it uh was known as the uh it's called the biford dolphin and um the uh okay these things they need constant maintenance on the underwater pipelines and so as a result you have to get employees who are both very skilled pipe fitters to keep working on these pipes as well as being incredibly skilled divers wrong pipe fitter guys oh come on sorry come on bad so they got to be very skilled divers because they have to go down like 120 feet to work Ooh, on this ship. Shit. 
And now, okay, a little science lesson here. Have either guys ever scuba dived? No, no. All right, I refuse. Fine, I I didn't give a shit. I was just trying to <laughs> see how much I actually had to go into the the explanation. <laughs> nope, you're good. I'm just letting you know. All right, when you scuba dive down to depths like that, okay, I'll, I'll start over with this. <laughs> I would love to see the look on his face if we got him on two boats and was like, hey, we're going scuba diving. Nope. Yeah, and, and it's constitutional carry, so I will put a gun to your head. <laughs> he would it's, it's either scuba dive or become a Mormon. I guess I'm becoming a Mormon. Is, yeah. Yeah. So anyways, the majority of the air that we breathe is like 74% nitrogen. Mm -hmm. And when you scuba dive down to these depths, where they're at, it's like nine atmospheric pressures from the water above them pushing down. And what that does is it compresses the nitrogen that's in your bloodstream from the air that you've been breathing, and it dissolves into your blood. And so when you ascend from the water, you can't just come all the way up. you got to go a little bit, let your body acclimate. Go up a little bit, let it acclimate. And it's a very long process coming up from like 120 feet down. If you don't let your body acclimate slowly on the way up, it gives you what they call decompression sickness, which is where the nitrogen in your blood rapidly decompresses and it makes uh, nitrogen bubbles in your blood and it's very painful. It can make you very sick. Uh, decompression sickness is the official name it of it. It can kill you. Most people refer to it as the bends. Yeah, bends. Uh, so... Because of this, rather than have them do this shit every day because they would spend the majority of their workday decompressing, what they have is basically a little house on these on on the the Biford Dolphin that was a uh, a compressed chamber. They kept the air pressure in there at nine times the atmosphere, and attached to it was what they call a diving bell, which is just a sphere that they could pressurize that to nine times. So these scuba divers would live in this house for like four weeks at a time. And they got paid very well. Basically, you could do that and then live the rest of the year doing whatever the fuck you want because you made so much money doing it. But they would, you would get into this sphere that would be pressurized, and then they would lower you down, flood it. Then you could swim out, do the work you needed to do, and then at the end of the day, you would get back in this sphere where they would you know, drain the water out, repressurize it to nine times the atmosphere, and then winch you back up and hook you back up to this, this chamber where there was like a, a hatch that would hook on. So that's, that's the way that this thing worked. Now, on November 5th of 1983, they were in the North Norwegian Sea drilling, and uh, when they pulled this thing up and they hook it back to this compression chamber, uh, you know, everything was going like it should. One of the guys on the inside opened up this compression chamber. They start to go in. And before he can get this thing latched, one of the diving tenders on the outside unclamps the dive bell from the outside and immediately oh. decompresses the decompression chamber from nine atmospheres to one atmosphere. And I'm not sure who got the worst of this shit. We'll start with the guy who was starting to close the hatch. Uh, when this, what they call express explosive decompression happened, it bent the frame of the, of the hatch and the door got lodged in place, but he basically got folded in half and sucked through the eight inch slit that was oh. left. It, it turned him into hamburger immediately. Uh -huh. The other guys, the three that were on board, they had their, uh, the nitrogen expanded so fast in their, in their blood that they just exploded right there. All their fucking veins and shit blood vessels just exploded uh the the two diving tenders on the outside the one who accidentally declamped this thing uh it, it basically blew the diving bell off and it hit him in the head and killed him immediately and the Yikes. other guy it landed on him and uh it collapsed both lungs it broke his back it broke bo broke both legs leaving him with the as the only severely disabled but only survivor of this whole thing. Oh, he so, lived? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he wasn't inside the decompression chamber. He was outside and just had this big fucking steel ball land on him. Um, so that's what happened here. 
And uh, this is now the, it is the single deadliest diving related accident in, in uh, American history, even though it didn't happen in America. But now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, we take your breath away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it sucked him through a fucking eight yeah, inch that's Yeah, really insane, that's dude. not fun. Folded him in half. Oh. And yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's I mean, it, it happens instantly. All right, thank God. So right. they didn't feel nothing. I don't think I'd want to live. I think I'd rather just die rather than be that paralyzed. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, I, but you know what? I think he died pretty quick. No, I'm well, talking guy. about the guy, about the guy who lived. landed on it. Oh, lived. the guy that lived? I don't, I don't oh, want to no, be that yeah. guy. No, I don't want to be that guy. Mm. No, absolutely not. Uh, in fact, I, I, my, this actually ties into the shitty situation. Would you rather uh, be that guy <laughs> or Chris Christie? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just uh, kidding. Uh, this week's laughing on the sideline shitty situation is: Would you rather uh, be? I mean, like, is it Dan Campbell with no class? Is that what I we're think going? Just with? somebody that Chris Christie thinks has yeah. no class. Ah, that's right. Uh, would you rather have uh, or be somebody that doesn't like gets shit on by Chris Christie or be Chris Christie? Would you stop? <laughs> no, I would rather be Chris Christie. Would you really? Yeah, because I want the power to shut down all the bridges. <laughs> I, I, I you heard it here. JP hates bridges. I hate bridges. Fuck bridges. And you'd have the weight to do so. Right? Yeah, you that's could sit on that so motherfucker and answer. collapse that I son of be a bitch. Chris Christie. Yeah, no. Plus, he can afford no. to eat. So that's. I mean, like, he can. Yeah, oh, uh, eat a lot. Right. That's eat a I'm lot. Uh, it's way ahead of me. I mean, that's true. He, he has no problem with getting tacos at Correct. Taco Bell. <laughs> no, he can get a fucking cravings box whenever he wants one. Uh, I would never want to be Chris Christie. Okay, so you're going to be the guy that... Oh, yeah, 100%. I would rather be me. Okay. I would... A hundred percent, I would rather... How is that possible? I agree. I you can't look in the Nobody mirror else and like say what that. you see. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys trying to say I have class? I'm trying to say if you get no. up on your step stool and you look at yourself in the mirror, yeah. you can't like it. I mean, I don't like it. That's probably why you don't use the stool very often. Right. But, but at the same time. By stool, do we mean toilet? No. No. Like he's got a little like the step stool. stool. Can, yeah. So he can just, see himself. Oh, I got you. Just, so, I just so I'm taller than my wife at sure. that point so in time. He can get up into the sink yeah. and brush his teeth. Uh, but no, like I, I legitimately don't care. I, 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 I would never want to be somebody of his stature. Never. Okay. Never, ever, ever. I'm, I'm a human. I don't want to be controlled i'm out jeremy well he thinks dan campbell has no class and i think dan campbell has a lot of class right and, and if he chris doesn't. christie is telling me i have no class that puts me in the same class as dan campbell and that's where i want to be so i would much rather think i mean it's like yep he, i would rather a <laughs> yep. ship I would the more rather you a, drink the more you raise your glasses <laughs> It's I like it. I'm sorry. You're having a good time. It would be like Bill Cosby no, thinking don't you don't treat women right. It, yeah, that's what yeah. I want. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> no, but like, like, I, like, if any of us had a, ever had the opportunity to be like in power over somebody else, like seriously, do you think we would want more freedom or more control? Freedom, Jeremy. <sighs> Like See, this is the I, I really like power. No, this is no, the actually, question. you know, I, I'm lead mechanic at work and I fucking hate it. I hate telling other people what to do. I hate Freedom. delegating yeah. shit to people. I just, it has to be done by somebody and it needs to be somebody competent. And since we don't have that, it's my responsibility. Correct. So freedom. Yeah. Yeah. Let's fucking brave heart this motherfucker. Freedom! Freedom! Or, I love it. Freedom or for free. JP, George Michael. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Sex is natural. That's Sex exactly is right. Fun. Anyways. Sex is best when it's one okay. on one, which is a lie. Have you heard the parody of that? I want your socks. <laughs> no, oh, no, but I'm going to check great. it out now. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for tuning in for another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Everybody, thank you very much, JP. That's enough. Okay. 
and thank you guys very much. Uh, we sincerely do appreciate it. This was also uh, last minute lo- notice. So please thank you very much. Jeremy <laughs> Joseph. Thank God you're yeah. here. Dude. He I, did not want I to come. I appreciate you being here because if you weren't here, he, ooh, didn't, he did not want to come, but sort of JP been? helped that out. I made him come, made him come. Hmm. Twice. Yes. Twice. There you go. There you go. I'm very yeah. good. Uh, but thank you very much. Do you guys have any shows coming up anytime soon? No. Absolutely not, because these guys aren't real fucking Xanax comedians. Uh, but thank I'm you. I'm retired, you dick. I know. That's true. It's like being a Marine. Once a comedian, always a comedian. That's yeah, true. Man. Absolutely. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so very much. We sincerely do appreciate it for another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Do us a favor. As we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us, I hope you have to accompany Scotty on this stupid Breaking Benjamin tour. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. Uh. If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, we have the meats. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, assholes. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.